panic. Hello? More like Halo, am I right? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, crap. I left this thing on. Now its battery's nearly dead. Shit. Nailed it. Yeah, it's an automaton. <laughs> and it's very, very quiet because I accidentally left it on this whole time. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How am I doing? I am excited and ready to be disappointed and scared because if uh, I've, I've not been this hyped for a game in a long time. Um, since Monster Hunter World, basically. And, like, I've kept my, you know, my, um, expectations low for a lot of games. But, because this one's been such a big mystery, and such a big hide for a while, it's like, ah, what could it be? It's like, it's, it's like this game doesn't exist. It's like this game's a myth. Oh, boy. Anyway, let me, hold on, Nightbot's thing is on. Let me turn that off. I think it'll have four-player co-op. Uh, if so, I think we gotta get the boys back together. I hope so. I mean, Halo 5 had four-player co-op, it just didn't have split-screen. It is like it's a myth, yeah. Let's see. Uh, multi, disable that multi. We're not using, we're not doing multi right now. Hopefully it's not like Myth 2. Oh yeah, those of you who don't know, a little bit of Bungie history. Bungie used to make uh, different types of games. They made a strategy game series called Myth, and it was medieval. Uh, let me switch on over to this, by the way. By the way, they're doing two streams. They're doing like a game showcase, um, you know, on YouTube. Just showing some some cool games that they're adding and also you know on this one and i've closed the chat for both because the chat was incredibly toxic and i feel much better now that i'm not seeing the chat because uh look at the brief moment chat just like 
I'm going to just show you live chat of an audience this big what it looks like for like 10 seconds once it loads. Let's see. Let's let's see what it says. Shrek, Shrek. Those are top. Uh, no weeb games. Who simps Microsoft? WL. There have been a lot of back and forth between W's and L's. Some... Ray William Johnson. Okay, yeah, uh, and there it goes. Okay, yeah, it's incredibly toxic, and you can't even read anything on it anyway. Uh, same with the Twitch. Um, I've just decided. Oh, that's my Twitch. Hey, look at that. Ooh, we're gonna stare into the void. Anyway, yeah, I just close the chat because it's better not to have a chat up. And this music's going. Twelve minutes. There are two two games I'm excited for is this and Baldur's Gate 3. It's like except Baldur's Gate 3 feels more tangible because I can I can see the gameplay, right? And it plays a lot like Divinity, which is a game that exists. But this we've not seen anything of this game. We have not seen anything. Raid Sky, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. Uh because like and it's so it's so much writing on it, you know, so much writing on Halo Infinite because there have been if you've not um, been keeping up with the Halo community, uh, <laughs> there the last few Halo games have been a bit controversial. Maybe they haven't made a big uh, impact in terms of uh, gaming culture as a whole, but in the actual gaming community, I mean, in the Halo community rather. Uh, and Halo fans, past few games have been divisive, uh, to say the least. Um, uh, Nikois23, thank you for subscribing. Because of things things you wouldn't assume would cause an uproar. Things like sprint and armor abilities and clambering and, you know, all this stuff that are in other first-person shooters but are a big deal to add to Halo. Yeah. Uh, satirical. Thank you for subscribing. And person here. Thank you for the seven months. Halo, Halo, Halo. And KB Karma. Ah, oh, man, nine months. Hi, KB Karma. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a very good day. Oh, man. What is this Halo? Halo is the first person. Oh, yeah, I never finished. I'm sorry. I'm too excited and scatterbrained. Fun fact. Bungie used to make a bunch of different games um, before Halo. Well, maybe not a bunch, but a few different games. One of them was a real-time strategy game called Myth. And Myth 2, <laughs> Myth, Bungie has famously made great games with questionable code. Uh, and Inferno Plus can tell you all about that with his um, Cursed Halo and how he modded that. And how um, freaking Halo is held together with spit. Um, it's amazing how it doesn't fall apart and all, etc, etc. Um, but Myth, so Myth 2... Uh, the thing about Myth 2 is it was fine and all, it was good and all, people, people liked it and enjoyed it, the game itself was nice, but whenever you uninstalled Myth 2, it would uninst- it would delete everything on your computer. So B <laughs> Bungie had to recall tens of thousands of floppy disks with the game back. To reprint it and then send them back out, which cost them so much money. And as a result, uh, made ha had them uh, strike up a deal with Microsoft to get money to fund Halo because they ran out of money because of that. And they were like, well, we like being independent and we don't want to drop to the big man Microsoft. Um, so, but, you know, we need money. So, unfortunately, they were bought out by Microsoft. Halo was originally going to be a real-time strategy game as well. And then it became a th third-person shooter. And it was supposed to release on Mac computers. But Bill Gates was like, yo, I like, I like that Halo, but it's Xbox now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, one game they made was Infinirunner. Called Marathon. Yeah, Marathon was their first ever first-person shooter. And actually their first game ever, Bungie's first game ever, was also a Mac game called Gnop. G-N-O-P. And it was just Pong, but you could run it on a Macintosh. So yeah, that you could see how uh how Apple would have gotten the uh, they would have gotten Apple's attention. So yeah, Bungie goes way back in the games industry.
Why does this exact scenario of uninstalling games have crazy side effects happen fairly often? I don't know, man. Because games and computers are complicated. Uh, JKB Scopes, thank you for the t for the bits. Hey, Joe, how goes it? It goes good and scary. The text files and the fewest light. Thank you as well for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm scared. That's why I'm scared because I have so much hype and I've been burned a lot by games. I've been burned as much as anybody who's been hyped about games. I've been burned by No Man's Sky. I've been burned by the original Destiny. I've been burned by freaking um, so many launch titles on the PS4. Um, just, yeah. So it's scary to have this much hype about a game, knowing that it might not live up to expectations. But I can't help it. <laughs> oh, the, the old art style is back. And, oh, jeez. Hmm. Uh, RP, Ot R, R Potter GT. Thank you for the bits. I'm, I'm even prepared a little bit, too. Firstly, I cleaned up my... Oh, yeah, this. Hold on. Send that. Um, I need to make my announcements. Uh, did I make my announcements on Twitter? Whoops, that's not it. A little bit scatterbrained. Did I make? Yes, I did. I'm very proud of this gift, by the way. I'm very proud of this. I made. I animated myself. So, um, I, I first off, I cleaned up my desktop and I prepared. I have memes for if Halo Infinite has advanced mobility, and I have memes if Halo has doesn't have advanced mobility. So yeah. Uh, so there's that. Let's see. There it is. <clears throat> six minutes yeah uh so so yeah um those of you who aren't into halo when a halo added sprint back in halo reach it divided the community a whole lot because halo's main thing its main appeal is its simplicity in its movement and its player mechanics right you can't sprint in halo halo was kind of a weird cross between modern shooters and the old school quake and doom shooters you know the ones where you could rocket jump and and you know grenade jump and weapon pickups and power-ups and stuff like that you see, you see things like quake champions that try to add that in and like overwatch trying to implement it in with hero shooter stuff or like you know you see the remnants of that in modern shooters but there's not a lot of that anymore and halo was kind of the last bastion of those og style aside from tf2 i guess <laughs> tf2 still has that stuff um but now now it's kind of gone by the wayside by adding in more modern things like sprinting and clambering that kind of takes away from those cool sandbox moments you know and uh, there are a billion a billion videos that explain this a lot better than i do uh there's a great video by chris raygun one guy favin i can show you as well um halo uh enhanced mobility this is the the main like argument against sprinting in halo that this guy explains really really well um how it just kind of is pointless i guess here Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about enhanced mobility in Halo 5 and why it has a negative impact on gameplay. So Clutchism put out a good video on Sprint that I'll link in the description, but I just want to expand on one of the ideas in that video. So here's a So yeah, here's Halo 5 where you can sprint and Halo 2 where you can't. On Halo 5, he's playing on a map called Truth, which is a remake of this map on Halo 2 called Midship. They're basically, they are literally the same map, whereas one has Sprint and one doesn't. Similar comparison video, notice how in Halo 5 you're restricted to an animation the entire time, whereas in Halo 2... So notice they're at the second doorway now, whereas in Halo 5 you had to sprint, but Halo 2 you could just walk around and shoot. So that's why people don't like advanced mobility is because now you're not shooting. You're sure, it feels like you're going faster, but in reality, you're not. You're not shooting, you're not throwing grenades, and you feel less mobile, you know? The arguments against Sprint is like, some people say, oh, well, Sprint allows you to get to the maps quicker. But then the argument against it is, well, why not just make the map smaller or give you more ways to traverse the map, like grav lifts and vehicles, which I think, you know, I prefer over, you know, these thrusters and sprinting. But um, yeah, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I like Sprint and all, but I see the arguments against it and I agree with those arguments. Um, and I, I totally agree. I would not be mad if it was not... Uh, if it was in Halo, I would not be mad if it wasn't in Halo. I would be a little mad if they added in other things like Clamber and uh, Spartan Charge and Shoulder Bash and uh, that 
ground pound. Like, I, I don't like those stuff. But everything else, though, eh, I don't mind. I mean, I mean, sprint, everything. Oh, sprint is the only thing. But even then, like, I'm fine with sprint not being in it. Because there's something cool about, I don't know. It's, like I said, it's not something I can explain very well. Chris Raygun has a fantastic video on it. You should watch Chris Raygun. And also the rest of this video that explains it way better than I do. I'm just going a mile a minute because I'm excited. I don't want to watch Halo. Ah! Uh, Pbid, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Soul Solid Jason, thank you for the five months. Oh, Pog. Uh, this long? <laughs> yeah. Pog for the five months. Uh, Varnu, thank you for the prime. Uh, James Ninja, thank you for the three months. Uh, Base God Gumi, thank you for the two months. Larnu, hey, thanks for the ten months. Why am I watching Xbox release? PS over Xbox kick. Uh, Dr. Bees, thank you for the six months. Also, console wars are dumb. Uh, I hope you were joking, because console wars are dumb and silly. Uh, a birthday and a sub. Ha uh, oh, happy birthday, Dr. Bees. Everyone say happy birthday to Dr. Bees. Aw. Oh. Mast Mastic, thanks for the two months. Hi, Joe. What's up, man? Um, I think I want infinite flood dual wielding drive a scarab. I'm fine if there's no dual wielding. And Zaku, I will be right back. I'm gonna get water. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes. I'm here, 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 I'm here. One and a half minutes, oh god, oh Jesus, oh fuck, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, oh jeez, I'm gonna fall over. Uh, JB Scope, thank you for this prime, I, Ib, IB, 53, thank you for the bits. Why did I bit bits and donate while watching an Xbox thing when I'm a PlayStation fan? Ah, yes, because Joe Cat. I appreciate that. And Jarbury, thank you for the seven months. No, it's not my birthday, <laughs> it's Dr. Bees's birthday. Oh, man. Uh, Crisis 21 and Cron Chrono Inc. Thank you. And Silent Walrus. Thank you all. Okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little bit more quiet. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, piss. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know if they're actually gonna show Halo first. Or, um... Or if they're gonna show other games and then Halo. I'm not sure, because this is an Xbox game showcase, not just Halo. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez, chat! Oh, I love Halo! I don't know, Rick, what if Halo's... What if Halo turns out kind of shit, you know? What if Halo's bad? Uh, Halo at the end? Oh, pro if it's not, like, in the middle or at the beginning, it's definitely in the end. Which I guess are the only three possibilities, but still. <laughs> also, I swear to God, if if one person goes, thank God it's rated mature. I swear. I'm gonna slap them. Also, let me know how the audio is. Yeet! It's fine. Okay, good. I'm gonna turn it down for myself. I hope there's hentai. <laughs> no, PlayStation is the hentai console. Okay. I think this is that, um... That robot girl game they showed earlier. Uh, in that other... Event. Hold on, that's a little quiet. Oh, unless. I saw UNSC. Oh, maybe it is. <gasps> oh. Wait, no, that's his wrist. That's his wrist piece. is now complete. Yeah!
grapple hook? Excuse me? This technology will save humanity in the war to come. Chris called it. Chris Reagan called it. Oh my god, the madman. Rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Armor cannot hope. It all means nothing. Oh shit, that's Halsey. Until you step inside. that what is that a portal what what is it what is that am i dead already I, I must be i mean this is a punishment right bro hammer hey it's bro hammer no. No. No, 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 no. please don't die bro hammer please don't kill off bro hammer i love him i'm going to have to make an emergency landing Hold on, shit. Oh, fuck, man. Please, please don't die. Oh, good. No. Get. No. You. I can't stand this. Who oh, you are. Breathe. No. You don't get to tell me what to do. <laughs> you don't get to tell me anything. We're. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, this these graphics look great. I'll oh. be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. <sighs> okay, big guy. You just got a fucking grappling hook! Oh, I wonder if that'll carry into. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh, the oh, oh the assault rifle looks good. Ah! Oh. Fucking ah, oh, banished phantom. Ah! Sprinting! Ah! Half the fan base just cried! Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, Matt! Open world! Wait, I have a I, I have a good meme for this. You guys keep watching. Hold on, I got a good meme for this. Hold on, keep watching. Open world Halo. <laughs> oh, skinny elites! Skinny elites! Yes!
Oh my god, the brutes are back! The brutes are back, baby! Okay, alright, alright, here's the meme. Real, real fast, like, real fast. Real fast. No! You can't just change Halo's movement! You're ruining the sandbox! This isn't the Halo I want to- Ah, uh, sprinkle brr. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, open world Halo sandbox! Oh, uh, the Magnum looks a little weird, yeah. But I don't know, maybe this means more different weapons, because an open world means they have to up the variety, which I do hope they do. Yes! Yes! Bird jackals! No more, no more T-Rexes! No more Velociraptors! What the fuck is that weapon? What is that? Dude, that's like the Reach Evolve- Oh, Carbine! That's like the Reach Evolved- These are like Reach Evolved weapons! What? Are, what is this? Ah, uh, the Jackals still talk. I kind of don't like that, but whatever. <gasps> Mauler?! Oh, Mangler! The Mangler! What the fuck?! Oh, grappling hook. Oh, my God. Yes! The grunts have their little face masks again. Oh, what? Oh, what is this? What? Throw it. Please throw it. Oh my gosh. Bulldog. There's so many new weapons. Fucking Breath of the Chief. The Legend of Halo, Breath of the Chief. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the new Halo. I didn't see. Is there aim down sights? I hope not. I hope there's no aim down sights. Legacy lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you. One of the ga different. guns had aim down sights. I hope it's just it guns with scopes and not all of them, like Halo 5. <laughs> we are one step ahead. Always. The rain is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium is well. Like in Halo 5, you can the aim down sights with a shotgun, the but... Share the same goal. I hope you can't in we this one. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew. Lost. Alone. But here you now stand. This is an Atriox, isn't it? This is my last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. No, it's not. Yeah, I thought so. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die well. No, this is Patrick. Ah, shit. I should have known. Oh, no, that was it. No. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I gotta look through that again. Holy shit. Holy fuck. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. Ah!
I'm incredibly <laughs> proud of the team at 343, and we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series. Maybe it's not an open world. Battles, Maybe it's just like a vistas, more complex visual effects. A large. Maybe it's just a ten big times level. Processing power per pixel of Halo Five. Maybe it's just this a be massive a level. Sixty frames per like second. This is level will allow one. us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming months, including the first look at multiplayer. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. Yeah, Metal Gear 5's quote-unquote world open world. Premiere. All right, and so now they're going to show other games. Oh, man. I wonder how much that carries over into the multiplayer, if multiplayer will have grappling hooks and sprinting and all that. Because they, they can balance it separately is the thing, right? Villain seems mad. Villain seems mad generic. Yeah, a bit. Halo's never had the most complex of villains. It's never had the strongest writing either. But I'm fine with that. It's just cool. Halo's just cool, guys. It didn't really feel like. No, I, I think it's a soft reboot, because people really didn't like Five's campaign. So, you know, they did a soft reset. They're like, oh, Cortana took over all this stuff, banished, destroyed a lot of things, so Chief has got to, you know, they're, the humanity's losing again, you know? So they have to start from the bottom again. Isn't she a complex villain? Maybe, but she wasn't done very well. <laughs> she, her complexity was not presented good. Yeah, Halo has never strayed away from it cliches, you know? Holy shit. I'm gonna post that meme. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Showcase. Today, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox Game Studios, including unveils of five new first party games. What you will see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions to bring their dreams to life. There we go. <laughs> we believe that how you find and play your games there we is go. as important no, as the device you You can't just change Halo's Xbox movement. Game You're ruining the, the sandbox. This isn't the Halo I wanted. And we want you <laughs> Sprint to be able to as many great games as possible. <laughs> uh, so Game Pass members, Here's the other meme. I only had two. Play every hold game on. you see today from your subscription or free to play. Oh, hold on. Uh, here's the other meme. I only play competitive Halo. What does competitive mean? It means he's afraid of Spartan abilities. No, it doesn't. Ground pound, thruster packs, sprint. Stop it, Patrick. You're scaring him. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. Those are the two memes. That's all of them. Yeah. But, um... I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, about the, the added stuff. I have mixed feelings about both the grappling hook and... The, uh, the sprint still being in the game. I would like it if it wasn't in the multiplayer. At least the... More so the grappling hook. I would prefer it if at least the grappling hook wasn't in multiplayer. Because I feel like that's a little much. It's a little much. Sprint, sure. Keep... Yeah, all right. Keep sprint. Grapple, hmm. Don't know about that. I feel like that's... That's a different game at that point. I feel like uh, with the grappling hook in multiplayer, that's a different game. Or, or make it a pickup, just like Chris Raygun said. He said, make it a pickup. I would be okay if it was a pickup and not inherent. Because Halo's all been, always been about pickups and stuff. You know? 
Yeah, like Halo 3's uh, equipment. Yeah. Kind of like an armor ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right. Let's see that again. I gotta watch that again. Hold on. I gotta watch that again. Uh, fucking, if it's even available. Let's see. Can I, can I go back? Not on Twitch. Let's see this again. Oh my god. Alright. Because I was ta I, I wasn't really paying that much attention. I was talking over it all. Okay. Going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. This is an interesting angle. I wonder if they'll delve into this. How how Chief is willing to sacrifice. He he doesn't, you know, this seems like it's delving into Chief's a little bit of arrogance where it's like we have to fight, you know? I wonder if they're going to play into this or if this is just like going to be surface level like a lot of the Halo games. Outnumbered. Like character conflicts. I know I saw Clone Wars. Cuz cuz Chief is definitely putting this guy's life at risk to uh, fight the good fight and whatever. This is really bad. I'm going to close this. All right. I got to find a different way to watch. <gasps> what is this? This is pretty. Hold on. And in moments of stillness. He's only built for war. Yeah, I, I wonder if they're going to make it that an interesting story thing. The expected. To be a light in dark places. To seek answers. Please tell me the real game will look like this. I would like more pretty games with cool aesthetics. And to stand watch over our world. Our world has a rhythm. God, please we all sense it. have the game look like this. But only Guys, just because it's cell shading doesn't mean it's Breath of the Wild. It. Plenty of games have cell shading. What's the game? What is the game? Looks pretty, but what's the game? It's a bejeweled clone. All games that- Everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in. It's a place to be eternal. And eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every <laughs> druid game. Thing. Finally, a druid game. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild. And I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love and for the incredible awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. I, I'm making a rule. I'm making a declaration that all games are assumed a bejeweled Whoa. clone until gameplay proves otherwise. So uh, I'm going to say that game looks like a very pretty bejeweled clone. It's like the Life is Strange people making another yeah. game in the Life is Strange universe. It doesn't matter. Good that for they them. don't believe us. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth... Yeah, this is like a, you know, dialogue impossible. story game. So this is the gameplay. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. What was that Mom. other, what was that spin-off game they made? Visions whenever we see or hear the, something. The Adventures of Captain Something. That one looked wholesome. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. 
I thought coming Captain here Spirit. Cool that, was a, that one looked wholesome. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. It was free. Oh, interesting. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why this game is on the Xbox. Hey everyone, my name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today we are very excited to tell hey. you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 hertz refresh Low rate PC. in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp sharp image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world. I mean, good for them, you know. Audio tech that we good previously on just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players Wouldn't 120 more FPS look very weird? How they want to play Apparently the game. not, according we to everybody who's ever played with 120 FPS. Coming to Xbox I mean, it would take some getting used to, smart but, delivery you know. later this year. Yeah, I mean, good on them. I can hardly tell the difference between FPS. Uh, play 60 FPS a bunch and go back to 30 and you will. Plus, it's more feel From than the uh, furthest reaches of the sea. universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An more outer worlds, facility. And outer worlds DLC. Shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon asteroid. A sordid stopover. That that said, though, there Four are after a certain point, there are diminishing returns. You know, you are with uh, how high your FPS goes, there are diminishing returns of how it feels. But um. Yeah. Anything over 60 is feel only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more feel than see. Feels more responsive and stuff. Thrills. Yeah, this is. I think this is Outer Worlds DLC. I've still not played Outer Worlds. A word of advice before you go, Captain. I've wanted to. Trust no one. I was planning on streaming it at. Uh, at one point, but I think I pulled and some other games went out. What will you find on Gorgon? <laughs> this unit cannot bring you any drinks in its current state. It looks like a very funny game, too. Just deep in its satire. If you're waiting. For the biggest game of the year, then wait for Cyberpunk. <laughs> but if cute. you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Straight up. Oh, it's... Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like this one. It's a survival game. You know, actually kind of this interesting. Summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the spiders. No. Nope. And go solo. Nope. I like how epic this music is. <laughs> yeah, this is a survival crafting game, except small. Which might actually get me to play it, because I, I did not like Rust, I did not like um, Arc Survival Evolved. 
The only one I really play is Minecraft. City and but... we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role playing games. This looks neat. It's something we do every day when we come to the office, and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure. Am I planning on playing Portland. Divinity? Um, in a couple of months, story streaming it. I, I want to beat it first with my current group, from the private and then I'm going to stream it also important that with some friends, some different friends, we tell maybe. Stories and games and so we're going to do an evil playthrough leading up to Baldur's Gate 3. The team has working for the last two years on how to tell an obsidian story within a survival game. Now, what's great is that you're going to be able to Halo, when is Halo? You missed Halo, dog. Halo, Halo happened. Preview. After and this is done, access, I'm going to rewatch over the Halo thing again. Together. Oh, yeah. Just to see if been wondering, we have been working what I, on what I missed. City RPG. Check this out. World premiere. Also, I, I thank goodness for Obsidian for just making good games. I, yeah, I, then wait for we Cyberpunk. I thought that was cute. I like more. I like that they're friendly with each other. You know, that uh, games companies are friendly with each other, promoting each other's games. Especially considering it Obsidian does RPGs Empire. as well. Turn heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost, forsaken. And you must face oh, the Oh man, are they making their own Skyrim now? First they make their own Fallout. Sins have born. Now are they gonna make their own Skyrim? Their own Elder Scrolls with blackjack and hookers? Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? Yep, they're making their own Elder Scrolls. I bet it's gonna be a very good Bejeweled game. Looks like a very cool Bejewel, Bejeweled clone. Very nice match three. Avowed is an expansive first-person RPG set in the fantasy world of Eora. When yep. Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game... Yeah, so Bethesda Bethesda was making everyone unhappy with their game, so Obsidian was like, okay, so here's a better Fallout, and here's a better Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I wish, I wish them the best, and I hope this is a wake-up to Bethesda to up their game. This is proper competition. This is good competition, because now Bethesda needs to get off their ass and actually... You know, studio. try to Led innovate and stuff. Most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Oh, what gameplay? Already? We're gonna see Bonjour. gameplay. I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate about interactive storytelling because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. <laughs> but can you mod it? Our first it? game spans 30 years Checkmate Obsidian. Southwest. Can I put big anime family, titties in it? That's the real Southwest. question. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. Can I mod I in dragons that toot like Thomas the Tank Engine? World premiere. Fortune, fortune, smile and fade. I haven't seen All right, so uh, Obsidian's making a Bejeweled clone. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover. Now, does your game look like this? Mine. It was the end of the road. On the ground, now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? <laughs> Paper Mario clip. Coincidence. This is, this is gritty Paper Mario. No. It was a long forgotten secret buried in the dark. Oh. 
All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. Oh yeah, it is nice art. Yeah. I got your letters. Man, they're showing a lot of Bejeweled clones. I don't... Uh, they're showing a lot of Match 3 games. I don't know. I guess this is the direction Here they're going Ninja with Theory, the Xbox uh, on all of Series our projects, X. Including Senua Saga Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. Hey, Hellblade 2. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start giving you an insight into what comes next for our Celtic Warrior. An experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. I'm happy to reveal today that Senua's Saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. Hmm. I've never it's played been so uh, Hellblade 1, to see the impact that but Hellblade I've heard good Senua's things. Sacrifice has had on so many players, and we're incredibly thankful to all <laughs> yes, the fans. Yes, but can you mod it? Can I throw in so a far? flying, dragon-shouting, macho man Randy Savage that on. goes, yeah, every time he shouts? That's the real question. Oh, is this a double fine game? Yep, there it is. Oh shit, is it Psychonauts 2? Psychonauts? What? Peter? Jack Black, everyone's favorite uncle! Hey, there he is. The internet's favorite uncle. Oh, Peter. Favorite cool musician musician uncle. It's gonna be fun to sing it. Now it's time My favorite gaming channel on YouTube. Shall we start rocking? Yeah, this is Psychonauts. I need to play Psychonauts 1. I've never played Probably it. Probably been a long time since you got a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. Man, this, this is another game that feels like a myth. It's a quiet place. It's in, been in development since forever. Lost alone, neither skin nor bone. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's blown. At the bottom of a lake. <laughs> I like Tim Schafer's such good friends with Jack Black that he's like, Yeah, that's right, I got Jack Black singing the soundtrack of this game. I started. God, this game looks pretty, though. Now I can feel out the galaxy and hear the flow of time. Don't do drugs, kids. Ah, look at this. Look at this aesthetic. Hey, Shen. Hi. I'm done nodding over Halo, so now we're, we're looking at other games now. They showed Halo early, and uh, there's going to be a lot of opinions going on. Are the magic and also a lot of crying and excitement and a lot of things. They kill the holes this I'm looks dope. Which I never... Ooh. God, it's so trippy. I love it. I 
And this is all just one level, it looks like. Because uh, in Psychonauts, you enter the mind of people. So this is one person's mind. Who knows what all the other ones could look like. Will I do another SCP stream? I don't know, maybe. Oh, there it is, the console, the, the mini fridge. We can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just so much more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers, to bring you the broadest variety of games ever. There's See, this woman is very powerful because she has three keys that can unlock any three doors in the world. The, the, the sad part is, um, is that she can only use them three times. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's why she's working for Xbox, because whenever they need to unlock a very specific door, they're going to need her. They're gonna they're gonna see Sony's like secret vault of like console technology, and they're gonna be like, I know who to call. And then she's gonna come up. She's gonna be like, step aside. I got this. Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X, 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Finally, look at Bungie's Destiny 2 Beyond Light. It took them, it took them 10 years, guys, but Destiny's finally running at 60 on console. I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. It's time to step beyond the light. A game from the previous generation. I mean, this does look dope, though. I've been saving... Destiny for a stream. I've been wanting to start fresh. Start a new character fresh. Ooh, I like the armor, though. I like that they're bringing back a lot of Destiny 1 armor, because I like Destiny 1's aesthetic a whole lot. A lot of the designs. And it's a great stream game, too, because it's free to play. And you, it's free. This game is free. Beyond Light, the next expansion. Looks neat. We're gonna fight the giant dark triangles. This is Destiny 2 that you can play any way you want, thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, Destiny 2 is free. So uh, like the full developers are working on games campaign Xbox Series X, and, and uh, or I, I mean the original campaign as well as like Xbox Series I think X the first two expansions, which were very very small and kind of the long of content, life, they're all free. Like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard. The only problem is Destiny's like 90 gigs. <laughs> All of the games it is a you're massive about to game. See are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Headache sick from the gameplay. It is, it is a lot. Yeah, the gameplay is a, a lot. World premiere. Very flashy. A lot going on. Big particle effects. Bigger than that, I would not be surprised. I have not even beaten, um, what is it, Shadow whatever, the one where Cade dies. I have not even beaten that campaign yet. Forsaken. Was it called Forsaken? I thought there was one called Shadow Keep. Unless Forsaken is the one where where Kate dies and Shadow Keep is the next one. Last fall, I got it. Gotcha, gotcha. There's also a, a there's also the WoW expansion called Shadow something, and then there's the Final Fantasy XIV expansion called Shadow whatever. There's a lot of expansions called Shadow. Ugh. Shadow bringers and Shadow lands, yeah. Yeah, is this another stalker? If so, cool. 
Stalker 2. I've heard good things about the original Stalker. Like a really well-designed open world shooter. World premiere. Neat. The Order 2? Wait, no, that's PlayStation. Lost Planet 4? New IP? My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our 40K? investigations. 40k? Recon squad has been sent into sub-level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. Yeah, it, he said, "My Lord Inquisitor." If if there's like sci-fi stuff mixed in with I'm old bad. English vocabulary, it's usually 40k. Yeah, that looks very very 40k-esque. Ew, the Inquisition. <laughs> World premiere. I'm glad we're past the guff and at the point where Xbox is like, game, 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 game. Remember when the Xbox One was announced and they were like, TV, TV, TV. But now they're just like, games, 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 games. If you like games, here's some games. We're going to show you how cool these games are. We're going to talk about games. We're going to show you games. Here's some people playing games. Check out how diverse we are. Look. We got a dad and his little girl playing games. We got this random dude with nice hair playing games. We got a gamer girl playing games. We got a two-year-old playing games. We got beard man. Purple hair. Children. We have owl dog. We have mom playing game. Dad playing game. College kid playing game. So many people playing games. Look, we have Windows game. We have Tetris. Tetris? We've got te fucking Tetris on the Xbox Series S. Hell yeah. Confirmed. All right, I'm getting this console. We've got Tetris. Finally. I, 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 fuck, I, fuck Halo Infinite. This is what you buy an Xbox for. Who even cares about Halo anymore? Halo, nobody likes Halo anyway. Co-op Tetris! Yes! Finally! I mean, honestly, that does look pretty cool. Uh, that, that is pretty neat. World premiere. They finally did it! After years of rumors! <laughs> Another Steam World game? Scans a no go. I love every Steam World game. Three D? Three D Steam World? Good for nothing space rock. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, Steam World is a is a kind of franchise with a bunch of different games, each one in a different genre. So like Steam World Dig is kind of like Motherload. Anyone remember playing Motherload on Miniclip, where you would like dig down and get like collect resources and then sell them at the top? Steam World Dig was like that. Then there was Steam World Heist, which was like a 2D squad-based turn-based strategy game. Um, like Terraria, a little bit different. It was like its own genre. But if this is this is another game in the Steam World, I mean, it, it looks cool by itself. Like this aesthetic looks rad as shit. But it said made by the Steam World people, so maybe it's not in Steam World. But uh, either way, this looks neat. That's true. It's not robots. Steam World is purely robots. The gunk. That's pretty neat. 
Sure. All right. Wait, then what's in Steam World? Uh, Steam, mostly. Steam powered robots. Rip moth. It all starts with a dead girl. The forest. The moon. Finally, Heavy Rain and 2 is coming to the Xbox. It's about the time. Moon. Jason! The gunshot. Press X to Jason. Again. Every story has two oh no, it's Life is Strange. A regular, rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. <laughs> Worse. Right? Is this I Life is Strange? Up. Life is Strange, but in Chernobyl. <laughs> Oh, Control! Oh, maybe it is Control. Wait, didn't Control come out, like, last year? Whoa! What is this place? That's pretty neat. So there's like a... You have to... Oh, you have to check like the other world for the... Ew! Ew! ew. ew. This is a neat concept though. You have to check the other world to see like what's going on. Neat concept. <laughs> Man, the Coraline reboot looks weird. Medium. Oh, because she's she's world premiere. She's finding spirits. She's a medium. Ah, clever. It looks neat. Neat concept. Sonic. It's the only game Sega knows about. Oh, wait. Is this, um, what's it called? Oh, Fantasy Star. This is Fantasy Star. But for expats. I thought it was Xenoblade for a second. I have not gotten Fantasy Star Online 2 to work. I tried to do a character creator critique in it, but like whenever I start up the game, it would just be stuck on the title screen and I wouldn't, it would just constantly tr be trying to log in and it wouldn't work. I don't know if that's a problem with the game itself or a problem with just like Microsoft game window, you know, Windows game service or whatever. Is it a new PSO? I don't know. I don't know if PSO 2 looks like this. <laughs> Finally, Sonic 2! PSO2 Tweaker. The official launcher is buggy. Okay, alright, yeah, I'll look into it. Thanks, thanks, Anna. Look at that massive lad! I'm gonna go stab it with my sword. Hmm. I assume it's, it's an expansion. Neat. Very neat. Luis Torres. I've seen your future. <gasps> Generic white man number 2422. Global risk is death of the weapon. Become. 
Oh, I saw anime girl sniper. Destiny chose me to save this world. And I will see it die. Anime Call of Duty. Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? <laughs> John Shooterman is back! <laughs> it is I, John Shooterman. We've got to do this, John Shooter Man! But what if what I'm doing is wrong? Don't worry, it's right! Okay. What if Shooting Man is wrong? Then who will be right, John Shooter Man? <gasps> then I will shoot these men. Hmm, new IP. Today, you saw two <laughs> surprise it's Final Fantasy 14. 22 console launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play. Every oh, 16. Game you said you seen today Oh, wow. From Xbox Final Game Fantasy 16 looks weird. All of our partners in the subscription. I was, I was expecting more spiky hair. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be. And some you will totally for Xbox hate. Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves. You'll get the next-gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect a lineup oh, neat. of over 100 cool. titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play. Yeah, and so you are at the center of everything we do. Now, I'm the center of everything. Every all of our Xbox, Xbox caters exclusively to me. We'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. Oh, Halo World 7. Premier. One more thing, Jackie. Oh, why, 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 it's bug snacks. The world is filled with stories. Elden Ring? Of no, it doesn't look dark enough. Heroes. Oh fuck, is this Fable? Treacherous villains. Please be Fable. Of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Not rip <laughs> stories have happy endings. But yours. I'll be all yes! Yeah! Oh man, I can't wait to play this match three. Oh yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Thoughts. Neat showcase not enough gameplay not enough game i was expecting more or rather i would have preferred more i guess i don't know i didn't know what to expect some neat games some new ips i hope they do well um happy that hey uh, that fable is coming back i was very very sad that um fable legends you guys fable legends looked so good it was not what people wanted from Fable because it was like an isometric PvP game. Fable Legends. Because like, like basically it was like Dungeon dungeon Land where one person played the villain and would set up all these bad guys and stuff and everyone else would play like a four-player co-op like hack and slash thing. But it looked cool. I love Fable's aesthetic. I love this optimistic storybook fantasy style that they've got going. And like... They were going to have like a bunch of different classes and all that stuff. And then it got canceled. I was really sad. 2014. 2014 this was canceled. Look, look at this. Look, and here's the dungeon master. They get to lay out a bunch of different bad guys and the real-time strategy them to throw them at the, the players and stuff. It was neat. 
It was neat. But, of course, it was not what people wanted from Fable, which, understandable, they wanted a proper Fable game. But I just like the Fable universe. I like the aesthetic, and I like the tone, and I like the blonde, buff, tanky lady. Look at her. Look at her go. Yes, style. Yeah. And you know? so... How, and I like John Shooterman, generic <laughs> white gruff protagonist who had a gun, <laughs> had a rapid fire dropping. crossbow. So you have a set number. But like, I don't know. I, I I looked forward to it, but it got canceled. But I don't know. That's neat. That's neat that they're making another another uh, freaking fable. Okay, let's see. All right, let's let's look at that Halo Infinite gameplay again because I missed shit. I was I missed some shit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god, this is the title screen! Holy fuck, this is the title screen! What the fuck? Am I dead already? I, I'm also- Also, I, I hope- I hope they turn this into something. I hope they turn Chief's arrogance and his just crazy zealous willingness to fight in a war against him. I hope they use that. I hope they use that because maybe, you know, that can show another side of Chief. People didn't like how they developed Chief in Halo 4, which is fine. But the world can develop around him. Chief can be a static character and have things develop and, and cause an effect around his stubbornness. That You know what movie did that and people loved it? Captain America Civil War. Everything in that movie happens because everyone knows he's Captain Goddamn America and he's not going to compromise. This is Master Motherfucking Chief. He's not gonna compromise. He's gonna fight till the end. I want to see how that affects the people around him. How does that affect Brohammer? How does that affect the Banished? You know? Chief doesn't know a world without fighting, so he's gonna keep fighting. I want to see that turn into something. You watch Overly Sarcastic Productions' video on Paragons, didn't you? I did. I love OSP. But yeah, I like this conflict. This guy's like, I want to go home. This is in my fight. I'm just a dude. Chief is like, nah, we got to fight first. And it's like, oh, I don't want to. I want to turn that into something. Please, 343. Bonnie Ross, please turn this into something. I mean, the story's already set. It's a few months out. The story is set. Any changes are not going to happen by this point. And if they do, it's going to be bad. But I hope... I hope against hope. I'm going to be a little sad and disappointed if it doesn't. But there's potential there. I want this potential. I want it. Very much. I want this potential. Safe? Turn this into something, please. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. That's humanity's ass. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. The closest you will, we will probably get is a scene near the end where Brohammer saves Chief. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Halo has never really been too brave or like or really ambitious when it comes to its story. I guess Halo 5 tried to be ambitious, but it just wasn't executed well. I think to keep it safe, they'll probably have Brohammer be like, no, you're right, we have to fight, and then finally comes back and helps Chief and maybe dies heroically. I just like the idea of Chief being in the wrong a lot more. I think that's more interesting. Chief is tall. Oh, yeah. Matt, uh, Chief, outside of his armor, is already tall. Chief is like seven feet tall without the armor. With the armor, he's like giant. If anything, he's a little bit short here. He's honestly on the short before, side here. We get away Not from accurate. Far Not cannon away. height. Not tall Wait enough. Here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can Yeah, look, look at the look, look, look the subtle the subtle I'm sorry, I'm 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 just nerding out about freaking character like acting choices and and you know, visual development. Look. Chief says cannons first. Look how disappointed he is. Look at his face. He's like, oh, I can't argue with the chief. And he's he's bargaining. When does chief ever try to bargain with someone? You know, he's like, all right, we'll do it. For, we'll do this first. And then when has chief ever done that? Please turn this into something. 
I want a character driven story. Not Halo 5, though. Halo 5 is bad. When I get back, we can look together. Okay, big guy. Look at the wildlife. Look at the little guys. Okay, so, um, all right, you've got objectives up here. Okay. Thank God they took out the stupid, like, are like here hold on let's see for in halo 4 and 5 they tried to make it feel more immersive by putting in chief's actual helmet into the scene right so notice notice how chief's helmet is actually in like the it's blackened and like blocks the area i didn't like that look, 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 look. like like here you can see if it'll load like it, i don't know to me it feels like like it's like in the way like it, it's it's very subtle you know it's very very subtle but i didn't like it. i felt like it blocked my vision and i didn't like it but um because you know in the previous games it, games it was implied with this little thing i'm just nip this is nitpicking okay this is all nitpicking i'm sorry i just love halo so much but like they implied the helmet's outline with these outlines see up here see these things right these things up here with this this little thingy to imply that you could still see through those parts of the helmet because advanced technology but they felt the need to put those and they took it out I i'm glad i'm glad they took it out now it's just back to halo 3 halo 2 style where you just have the little thingies look at the little what are those i like the wildlife please bring back bring back the wildlife halo ce wildlife Bring back moas. Well, not moas, but just like big thingies. And 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 what what are they? These things, the the spike backs, whatever the hell those are. Bring those back, please. Halo's uh, beta had like these things in them, uh, but they took it out because you know Halo One had a lot of cut content. It went through a very hectic development cycle. I'm glad. I'm glad they've got the the grunts. From what it looks like, they have their little pacifier masks again. I don't know how I feel about this shield recharging, though. It feels a little bit... ...obtrusive. Like this, this hexagon thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Assault rifle mag seems smaller, too. No, it's actually larger. Uh, the mag for the longest time was 32. Only in Halo 1 was it 60. Um, unless, unless you mean size-wise, where he's reloading. Let's see. This is a new one or four? This is a new one. This is Halo 6, except it's called Halo Infinite. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, this is a bigger mag size. Is the showcase over? Yeah, pretty much, I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's over. It's over. I'm just- I'm just re-watching this because I love fucking Halo. Fucking banished phantom, look at that! I like that they cleaned it up! They streamlined the design, it doesn't look messy anymore. Just a random warthog, good. Deja vu! And the map. Okay, I I'm guessing this is just a big level, not open world, because this looks like barriers right here, and it seems like it doesn't go on forever. I'm assuming massive Metal Gear style levels. That's what I'm thinking, Metal Gear Five style, which I think I'm okay with. I think I would prefer that actually. I think I prefer that. With a few objectives, yeah. Like, hey, take out, clear, clear out this area. Upgrade? Wait, 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 upgrades? Upgrades? Yeah, I would assume with a big op- Yeah, upgrades! Oh, so maybe, maybe the grappling hook is an upgrade and you can get upgrades like Spartan Charge and all that stuff. Please! Don't build the multiplayer around it. I hope, I hope 
the multiplayer is bare bones. Oh, I hope the multiplayer is bare bones. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm concerned. I am big concern. Database lore. We get a we get a freaking what's it called? Uh, like a data log and stuff. The like, uh, what's it called in Mass Effect that they have? Thank God, Halo has been awful at bringing the lore into the games. Codex, yeah, Codex. Halo is terrible at explaining the lore to you. Not that you need to know the lore to enjoy the games, but it does add to it. Thank God. Codex time. Hell yeah. Ooh, and they tell you the difficulty of the task. Okay, so maybe there's no more varying difficulty. So this is normal. So this output post is no. Oh, I like this idea. I like this idea. Because it means you can go to places that are maybe heavily armored and tough to take down. Like a legendary outpost that you have to take out. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. Brum, and you can redirect in midair. Thank God. Just like Halo 5. That was one of the best things they've added to Halo 5. Oh, the Ultras! A Grunt Ultra from uh, from Halo Reach! Their design's back! Hey! I miss those guys. Look at them. Yeah, that's the Ultra Helmet from Halo Reach. Neat. And it makes sense, too, because um, the Banished, uh, in uh, can canonically, the Banished are scavengers. They've been stealing technology from the Covenant for years and making their own faction and stuff. So it makes sense why they would have older equipment. I don't like the pistol design at all. Yeah, me neither, really. I don't, I don't like, I don't like, this looks too generic. But we've seen a bunch of new weapons. So maybe this is a variant of the pistol, you know? Why are the elites working with the banished? Well, the the elites, they're not one faction of elites. The, these are elites that started working with the banished and cut off from the Covenant before the Great Schism in Halo 2. This was before the Covenant Civil War. The banished cut off, like, broke off from the Covenant long before the Covenant Civil War. So they were just a faction that was just off the human's radar, you know? Um, but maybe, maybe this is just a variant. It had 12 rounds in the mag which is not standard for the pistol the pistol usually has nine or like seven uh but 12 so maybe this is a variant of the pistol i don't know i don't know what happened to the covenant so in halo 2 the covenant kind of had a a falling out where the elites were being overtaken by the brutes because i guess the uh the prophets were and all these names all these names are probably not going to make sense for anybody the prophets are basically the leaders they're the big old men in the chairs and they decided, hey, the elites are a little bit strong for their own good. We don't like them being so close in information or power politically to the prophets. So we're going to knock them down a notch and replace a lot of their ranks with brutes who are more dumb, we'll say, and um, more susceptible to following orders. So, you know, they question less. So then uh, sort of the conspiracy about Halo's true purpose came up and the elites were like fuck that and they left and helped the humans these elites however that joined the banished um realized that th the covenant was very you know rude to this group of brutes and would use them as cannon fodder sacrificing them send them on suicide missions there's a thing called halo and halo yes halo halo is an actual ring Halo is the thing that Master Chief is on. So, let's see. Let me show you. Look, look. So, he's going to walk out. That. You see, that is the thing that he... Halo is a ring world built by an extinct alien race called the Forerunners, which are definitely not the Protheans and definitely not the Ancients from StarCraft and definitely not the Old Ones from uh, for Warhammer. Definitely not the same. Totally different. Uh even though they're pretty much the same. So the Forerunners built a bunch of stuff uh, to take care of the Flood, which are the zombies, um, but they also killed everything in the world because um, the Flood eat things, 
and they survive very easily. So they built the halos to kill everything, which would starve out the flood. Um, ah, jeez. I, I need to make a Halo lore video. I love Halo's lore. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you're on Halo, and uh, the Covenant wanted to fire Halo because they thought it would make them gods. Um, and the ones at the top that find found out that it wasn't were like, oh, fuck, we're in too deep, but we can't stop now. We built this entire thousand-year-long, you know, alliance off of the back of firing these Halos. Now we found out that they're actually going to kill everyone. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, shit. We found a way to actually protect the handful of us that know. So uh, we're just going to kill everyone else uh, while we stay in the safe area. So, yep. Um, yeah, so the Banished were, like, uh, uh, led by a brute chieftain named Atriox, who was being sent on suicide missions to break up enemy lines, you know, human lines, and, um, planets are weapons. Yeah, they're weapons. Um, and then he decided, you know what, I'm tired of fighting for this cause that I don't care about, and then he learned, you know, oh, Halo's gonna kill us all. I'm gonna make my own faction, and recruited a bunch of people, and nearly, was basically stomping the covenant while the humans were struggling but yeah that includes a bunch of elites so it gives them an excuse for us to fight elites still so in halo 2 they kind of broke off in halo 3 elites were on our side but uh the banished elites don't know that you know or they don't care I'm so glad they brought back skinny elites because the elites in Halo 4 and 5 are ugly as sin. They're so la large and like over encumbering and blah, blah, just like, uh, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Hold on. Let me show you. Halo 4 Spartan Ops. Wait, no. Halo Halo 5 really show. Halo 5 cutscenes. Let me show you how lumbering they are. They're they're supposed to be like in as the name says, elite warriors. They're gracious, they're honorable, they're kind of a little bit elegant. But look look at the fucking look how big these guys they got big stompy feet legs and their heads are massive. Look they, they look uh, in the words, in the words of late night gaming, they look more thuggish than the brutes, which are supposed to be the big heavy thug. Look at them! Look at them lumbering about. They're like, whoa, they're shifting their weight. I don't like it. I don't like them. They don't look that thick. What do the brutes look like? Well, I mean, I, I guess they don't look thick on their own. Just in comparison to the older games, you know? Like, uh, keep in mind, this is all nitpicking. This is me, this is my fanboy bias being like, it's different, therefore I hate it. They're good designs in their own right. This is just my fan, I'm just being a hyperbolic and, and, you know, complaining about everything that's different because new things are different and different is bad and scary. Uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with these designs. I'm just, I'm just being a annoying fanboy right now. So now they're like stomping around, they're like, oh! I, also, fucking, look, they, they got big feet and then tiny hands. I don't like that. I don't like how big their feet are, and then they got little scrawny baby hands. They're just so bottom heavy. He's like, whoa, do, oh, do, do! Oh, lumbering elite, oh. Uh. <laughs> Those elites are from the moon of St. Helios. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, and also, that's this is just a problem with the choreography of uh, the cutscenes in Halo 5 in general as well. It's just kind of weird. I'm not going to show you the fight between Chief and Locke. It's just sad. But yeah, these are old, old classic looking elites. I like them. They look more elegant. They're dodging around and they look they look like they fit their movement. You know? They've and they've got the fucking black undersuit. They're just they don't have just naked arms anymore. I didn't like look, they're armored. Look at that. Look, his arm is covered. He's got a bodysuit on underneath. 
You know? It's got a proper, proper armored elite. Okay, so that's a scope because this is like a DMR style weapon. Or maybe like a, what is that? Commando. So this has a scope. So I'm okay. I'm okay with the quote unquote aim down sights of this because this has a scope. Halo didn't have aim down sights. It had a zoom and it only had zoom for very specific weapons with scopes in them. Scopes that would benefit them. This seems to be a new precision weapon of some kind. Kind of similar to the, um, what's bad about aim down sights? Well, because Halo's always been about m mobility, right? And like I said before, Halo's more, there's nothing inherently wrong about aim down sights. But um, Halo's been more of like a classic shooter. You know, you don't have aim down sights in Quake, but you do have a scope on the sniper rifle. You know, Halo's the same. And also aim down sights, it's just a presentation thing. I just, I just... Yeah, again, this is fanboyism coming out. It's fine. That's just not what I liked about Halo, you know? I just... It's different from... It's not what Halo was. And it's not what I liked about it. And, you know, I liked that it didn't have aim down sights. Um, But this... It's, it's kind of presented similarly. Like, it's still, like, zooms. But it actually no. It, this is like classic, um, classic zoom because the gun doesn't. It's not like Halo Five. Halo Five actually did add, add aim down sights. They called it Smart Zoom or Smart Link or whatever. But this looks like a proper Halo zoom where you don't see the gun brought up. You know, this is like the DMR or the battle rifle where it's just a different zoom apparatus. I like this. I'm okay with this. This is fine. This is not aim down sights. This is Halo's zoom. I'm okay with this. This looks to be a new style of precision weapon, the Commando. Commando seems like a fusion between Battle Rifle and Auto. Yeah, it looks neat. Looks neat. Uh, you can still have ADS. Titanfall did it and then the game was fast as fuck. Yes, the problem is... See, the reason why it's okay in Titanfall is Titanfall is a new, different game. This is Halo. So, it's not inherently bad. It's just it changes it. It changes it from what Halo was, and that's the problem that I have. Now, obviously, change is not inherently bad, like I said. But no one had a problem with Titanfall, because Titanfall is its own thing. You know, it's a new game that decided to, you know, not to shoehorn that into an existing franchise. It just made a different game. They just they just decided, you know what, we're, gonna, we're not going to make Call of Duty and add jetpacks. We're just going to make a jetpack call of duty and call it something else you know anyway i'm gonna turn on my fan <laughs> I'm, I'm heating up. it's like it's like it's like what chris raygun said i keep bringing up chris raygun because he made a fantastic video about it watch chris raygun's video on halo um i don't play halo to jump around and jetpack i play titanfall for that i play halo for Rocket jumps and grenade jumps and cool sandbox interactions and, uh, you know, interesting vehicle traversal and, you know, things in the sandbox that you can interact with. Not things that are inherent to the player. Plus, you know, all these things make for cool custom games. If the grappling hook is just an option, you can have game modes with the grappling hook and you can have game modes without the grappling hook. Maybe the grappling hook's a pickup and you could do, uh, you know, like a, a every man for himself Indiana Jones style custom game where everyone's racing for the grappling hook, right? Because the grappling hook's the only thing that could get you out of the cave. Think how cool that is. Whereas if the grappling hook is just inherent to everybody, then you can't make a game mode like that, you know? Yeah, so that, that was a headshot. So this is a precision weapon. Automatic precision weapon. Interesting. Very similar to the needle rifle. So these are brutes. These are thick boys. Thick old brute boys. That's a thick ass boy. What if armor abilities can add more? Yes, but what if the armor abilities can add more to that sandbox? Well, that's the thing, right? Is when it's inherent, then you have to design the whole game around it. And that adds more variables and then can can result in maps that feel very samey. Notice how a lot of the Overwatch maps 
feel very samey because there are so many variables. There are so many characters with jumps and jetpacks and, and dashes and all that stuff. So they have to design all their maps very deliberately and very similarly. You cannot have a map in Overwatch that is big and massive and open like Sand Trap because then Reaper would never be played. You know? A, a map like Sand Trap in Halo 3 works because you're so limited, you know? And if they had things like, you know, like you can't have small maps in Halo anymore if you have Sprint because you get to places way too fast. So then you have to enlarge the map, you know? But, yeah, balls armor, yeah. Like, it's easier said than done. Like, you can say, well, just balance the map around the armor abilities, but it's easier said than done. And I always, you know, I think it's better if it's not inherent because you see Halo Reach, right? Halo Reach had a lot of cool custom games because you could swap out your armor abilities. Uh, they weren't that detrimental to Halo Reach because you could always get rid of Sprint and give everyone armor lock instead. You could get rid of jetpacks and just give them something like Hologram instead. Or you could get rid of all of it and play like classic Halo. Yeah, I, I, say, I, I, I say you know a lot. I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Stumbling over my words. Damn, that that boy is coming. He's like, he's like, swing it, swing Okay, you're knocking off armor. Pretty neat, pretty neat. You can pick up fusion coils. Okay, they're Halo 3 style equipment. Look, this is what I mean. You can pick up things in the sandbox and throw them down. Look, think of how many cool, you know, custom games you can make from this. And if you don't like it, you can just take it out. Hell yeah. It's the freaking uh, what's it called from Halo 3, the, the deployable shield. Because like, oh, spike grenades are back. Yo, spike grenades, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, spike grenades. Oh man. Not bubble shield? Well, I don't know. Maybe they'll bring back the... Yeah, that was that was like a new version of deployable cover. The thing I, I think I prefer about equipment over armor abilities is equipment feels like an extension. Like, it just feels like throwing a grenade, you know? It's not that much different from throwing a grenade, whereas armor abilities is like you have to have, assign a new button and you have to change different parts of the map to account for it. You don't have to change anything to account for that shield, you know? Are we also getting flame grenades? I hope so. Well, if they do, I hope it's at least more placed around than Halo 3. Halo 3, they showed up like twice. Oh, open level Halo. Not open world, but open level. Yeah, you can clearly see the boundaries are there. Like, I'm sure you can't climb that mountain. Still neat though. I don't even care about the Halo fan or like the Halo franchise. I'm just here to hate hear Joe go full family. I love Halo, you guys. Halo is fucking my favorite FPS. It's my favorite. So what is this? The Ravager. This is like a tri shot mega plasma fucking rifle. I like that it's still not taking itself too seriously, though. Pulse Carbine, that's what- Okay, so there's... That fight flight animation is so janky. Yeah, Halo's had a little bit of jank. As long as it plays well, you know? So this is a Pulse Carbine. So this makes me think, are there more- Yeah, so this- This can- This, I think, soft confirms that there are weapon variants. This is a pulse carbine, and you'll see later that this is a, a burst weapon. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it shoots five. It's so interesting how this is, like, so ripped from Halo Reach Campaign Evolved. Like, because Campaign Evolved did this, too. They had the plasma spade 
and they had the brute plasma spate, which worked just like this. That's pretty cool. More brutes, more grunts, explosions. And it's nice that you can nice that you can see your your health. Because in Halo 3, once your shield is gone, you couldn't tell how much health you had. In this, it looks like you can by its color or something. What is Reach Campaign Evolved? It's a mod for Reach's campaign that changes the weapons, the the enemy placement and enemy makeup, and it's really, really nice. And this, this is the 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 mangler. Which looks very much inspired by the Mauler. I wonder what the difference is. This looks cool. Fucking Mangler. Grappling. Look! They've got their mask back! They got the old school grunts! They've got their mask back! Look at that! They're, they're little pacifier masks. Yeah! I'm gonna show you another design that looks ugly in Halo 5. Halo 5 grunt. Let me show you. Gross! <laughs> you can see their mouths, and it's disgusting! Oh, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. But they, they, you know, they had these old school ones, had these cute little pacifiers, and now they've got this thing through their nose. Because <laughs> uh. grunts were kind of cute in the other games, right? Look, 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 Halo, Halo Reach, they were, they were kind of cute, you know? Look at them. Look, they got their big old heads. They got these pacifier things in their mouths. They're kind of cute and derpy. Right? But then, they, it, eh. They're back to being cute. Ooh, this is like a mag, this is like a, the Brutes Magnum. Did you see that kick? Let's see, it's, it's like, wow. Yow! It's like a proper revolver. I I know they're gas masks. They yeah they they breathe methane. You can throw fusion coils. That's cool. This is this is like legit just straight up the freaking what's it called rivet gun from uh, Bioshock. Is this the rivet? Gun? Can you dual wield? I don't know. We shall see. I don't think there is. I'm not too mad about it. I'm not sad. Like, I, like I felt like dual wielding was not very practical or done. It was all. It always felt kind of janky, because whenever you threw grenades or punched, you would just drop the other weapon. I don't know. I'm not holding my, my breath though. It's nice that you're back to close quarters though. You're back to close. Things are closer up. Enemies are easier to see. Things are very clear. In Halo 5, it was a visual mess. Like, just of enemies just, like, really far away. And just, just like, specs, you know? It just turned into a shooting gallery, like, Call of Duty style. Which some people like, but like I said, it's not what I liked about Halo 5. Damn, that feels powerful. Or it looks powerful. So the Bulldog. So I, I assume this is a... Semi-automatic shotgun? It was too overly designed and messy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this looks like a semi- Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see what I think I saw? No, that's a plasma pistol. No, that's just debris. And that's another mangler. I thought- I thought that was a, um... Yeah, pick up plasma- uh, yeah. I thought that was the deployable bubble shield, but it's just another mangler. Okay, it is it is a pump action. I guess it's just a faster pump action. Um, maybe it's just like a weaker, faster pump action shotgun. Because you you can't replace the classic pump action shotgun. You can't. It, it very much feels like Breath of the Wild in terms of its streamlining and like adding all these different weapons and stuff. Because when when he he hovers over 
the weapons, it like tells you like stuff about it. Like um, it tells you characteristics of that weapon. So yeah, regular. So okay, regular carbine is in. Oh no, that's another pulse carbine. Never mind. But that's that's my theory. That's my theory is that there are weapon variants. So this is one type of shotgun, and they're gonna have the regular pump action tube shotgun too. Or the the tube shotgun with you know the classic Halo shotgun. I can't imagine they would. I do like that the design is more streamlined, though. It's not a mess of stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I, I need it. I need it in my face hole. I need to play this game. I need to play this game now. Right now. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. I wish it had glow iron sights like the old well, well this is not the this is not the old shotgun. This is a different shotgun. This is a different variant of the shotgun, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Hmm. Oh jeez. Do I need to play Halo 5 to play this game? I don't think so. It seems more enough detached from Halo 5 that if you just get the Cliffs notes, you'll be fine. Whew! Hey, Green Skull did a reaction to it. What did he think? We're watching somebody else watch this game. I love... Dude, Green Skull is so cool. He's an old-school, like, Halo content creator. He made one of my favorite Halo videos of, like... He swapped out the trailer music and sound effects for mouth sounds... And he just did all the sounds of the guns and the dubstep and the wubs and th it was amazing. I'll show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this in my own time. I'm just gonna show you guys that that video. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Green Skull Halo Four weapon trailer. It's amazing and it's an inspiration. Here it is. Shut up and take my money. Sounds familiar. He was around a while. Here, let me show you the original trailer. Right. Oh, four weapon tray alert. So it's all all dubstepy and stuff. It's all like whoa. Ordnance ready. All right, I want you to remember how that goes, okay? Now watch this. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, still an inspiration. Oh, man. <laughs> Best, my favorite video of his. It's so good. And it's so on point. You could you could sync it up. And it fits. You could sync it up. And it, it, all the sound effects are there. Oh, my God. I love Green Skull. He's the best. He's he's a light in, in the kind of dark and admittedly argumentative tunnel that is the Halo community right now. He is he's so cool and and precious and wholesome and just a nice guy. I love Green Skull. Ah, <sighs> I don't know what to do now. Jeez. You guys want to play some Halo? You guys want to play Halo? You want to load up some some Halo and just play some matchmaking together? I don't have any custom games saved. But Yeah, let's play some Halo. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Why not? Why not? I've got time. I've got a little bit of time. Why not? UNSC guns look kind of cod because they're human weapons. What do you expect them to look like? 
Like, the battle rifle looks like a human weapon. You know? That, that looks like a human weapon, you know? Um... Yeah. Have I seen Reclaimer VR? I have not. What is that? Uh, what else was there in the showcase? Uh, well, they showed the DMR. Let's see, the DMR, the uh, rocket launcher, the new shotgun, which looked ugly as sin. It looked like a boat. Uh, the sticky detonator, which, you know, it's cool, I guess. It's fine. I just prefer the grenade launcher. They showed the saw, which is like a fucking assault rifle on steroids. Uh, and then they showed the Spartan laser and the railgun. I love the railgun. The railgun was my favorite new weapon in Halo 4. Ah. <sighs> anyway. The Xbox showcase. Oh, it's over. Oh, I should change the stream, actually. I should change the stream info to Halo. Talking about Halo while playing Halo. Game Halo. MCC. VR, VR mod for Reach. Soon progress. Interesting. All right. So uh, you guys can join me by... Uh, here's, here's how you can do it, right? You can join me. We're going to do some social games. I don't know what we're going to queue. It depends on how many people join in. Uh, if you have Halo, uh, you can join me by clicking on your thing right here. Clicking Find Player and then typing in the player tag. Mine being Joseph Joe Cat, And you can join in. At least I think so. I don't know if there's any settings I have to do for that. Accessibility network, relays, gameplay. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just join in and we're gonna play some matchmaking together. Hey, Jay's in here. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jetman Jay. So Jay's able to join me. I don't know if anybody else is. Uh, maybe if I go online, I'm invisible on Steam. Is this cross-platform? I don't think so. I think it's PC only. This is this is Halo PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, actually, Jay, yeah, Jay just messaged me. Let's talk about Halo. Let's talk about Halo. Let's talk about Halo. Jay? Hello? Hold on, I can't hear Jay. Uh, uh, there you are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It didn't work again. Oh, hello? Hello? There we go. For some reason, it switched back. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. It is, uh, that is, that's something. It was, oh my gosh. Uh, oh. What, do, how, I, um, what are your feelings on the grappling hook? My, uh, you know what? Pleasantly excited. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think, I think that, um, especially now I'm just thinking because I am a, a dumbass who likes doing dumb shit. Uh, the grappling hook and like, and I, I agree with you with multiplayer, it should be a pickup or something like that. But for single player or competitive, um, or not competitive, cooperative, uh, like single player or campaign, sorry. Uh, four people running around the grappling hook sounds like a good time. I don't know. Mm. I don't know about you, but that sounds like stupid things. Yeah, can yeah. Okay, so people apparently can't join. How do I allow them? How do I allow anybody to join? Um, I know Zach knew how to do it. Um, settings, network. I think. I don't know because I was like, oh, my friend's online. I can just squad close gameplay. What is squad close? How do I go to squad close? I think... Hold on. Right side Far under right. my username area. Down here? My squad is closed. How do I open it? Oh, there we go. Friends only. Um, 
Oh, I can't... I can't do... Invite only. Invite friends? Yeah, I think Zach just started friending a few people. I don't... Hmm. Okay. Um... I can't do... Totally open. Um... Well then... I guess, uh... You can message me on Steam. Oh, I'm gonna get so many Steam messages. Well, actually, you have to friend me on Steam, don't you? Um, yep. shit. Aw, oh, fuck. I cry, bro. Jeez, sorry. It, it do be like that. It's Windows, I think. My favorite... Uh, what's my favorite Halo book? I've actually not really read any Halo books, so I don't know. It's Windows. How do I, how do, I do that? How do I do... How do I add... How do I... I don't... I just want... I just want people to join. I just want people to join. I prefer swing grapple over pull grapple. I could go with either, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I, I am... I, I think... I think it's really... I think it's cool. I think it's pretty fucking cool. I... I... I like grappling hooks, though. I just like them. Yeah. I mean, they are cool. I just... Hope it's not inherent is all. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do I uh, help me out, chat? <laughs> do I just need to start friending people? I think that's what Zach did. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'll I'll send I'll send invites to people who send me invites on MCC. I'm going to try and see if that works, because I got an invite from somebody, but I declined it. Okay, so Roxas K. Oh, jeez. Um, now, now what do I do? Now how do I invite and then them? The, and then the list explodes. Uh, uh, good question. How do I invite people? So they're inviting me, even though I'm not friends, I don't think. Uh... Oh, it begins... Search them? How do I search them? Find player. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so uh, Roxas K. Roxas K. I'm just gonna go in order. Uh, invite player. There we go. There we go. Okay. Roxas We've K. Done it. I'm just gonna go first come, first serve. Joker. Uh, Joker 22835. Joker 22835. Uh, invite. Okay. Poggers. Uh, so the, um, the Hello Mangler. I, I almost, I had, I had to keep myself from saying Mahler, but the Mangler. Yeah. That looks, that looks neat. I like the look of that one. Yeah. Looks cool. It's it looks high powered. Sick. It's like Halo One pistol. It looks like. Mm hmm. In terms of power, I'm. I'm. A, that's what I'm gonna hypothesize. Because if the regular Magnum is in there, then this is like the Super Magnum. Yeah. Spying Locket One. So what do you what do you guys want to play? Because uh, depending on how big our party is, will determine what we're able to play. Because <laughs> uh, we can't do a full 16 people lobby and play big team, sadly. Um, but we can do full 12 free-for-all and full 8 free-for-all. Full 12 being infection, that is. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to start a Twitch poll. I'm going to start a Twitch poll. Oh, right. Those uh, are. I, I forget those are a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Manage poll. You'd new poll. I think being a streamer, I should know these. What? Uh... <laughs> uh playlist we're gonna put a big team battle which is eight players we're gonna do free for all eight players or infection 12 players so um yep we're gonna give it two minutes while i invite people how many do i have i have six okay i can invite two more um, spying lock at one. Did I invite you yet? I don't think I did. 
Uh, can I not? Uh, geez, there we go. Spying locket. Whoops. What did I press? One. Inviting you. I typed but didn't hit send? Didn't? Did I? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, people are saying infection. People really want to be zombies. I mean, infection's a good time. It's also the most amount of players we can have, so that makes sense. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can invite five more. Uh, strictly biz 75. Strictly biz 75. I'm sorry if anybody is uh, unable to join in. Um, you know, it's first come, first serve, and I only have so much space. Salty Taco 115. Salty Taco 115. <laughs> Killed Joe Cat for. Yeah, everyone's gonna gang up on me. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, that's what happens when. Send when friend? You're no, the I don't wanna send. I wanna invite. I didn't mean to send friend request. Salty Taco in here? No. Um, well, I can't invite you, Salty Taco. I'll put you on the back burner. Um, Julian Vader. Vader. Hey, wait. There's else. Yep, looks like people want to play Infection. Yeah. Oh, I can't send friend request. What? Do I have or, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Oh, I need to. I need to go to freaking. I need to go to infection. I see. Oh yeah, that you know. There what, we that go. Makes sense. There we go. There we go. There we go. My bad. We've figured it out. God, I keep hitting some button. Salty taco. What was it? Salty taco one one five. What? No, I, I can still only send friend requests. It's because you need to go over to infection. I, I'm on infection now, but it's still not... Hmm. hmm. Can we only drag in eight, maybe? Can we? I don't might, know. Might only be able to go up to eight? Yeah, maybe. Sorry, everybody it's else. It's a possibility. Uh, we'll rotate out, actually. After... We'll do a couple of matches of this, and then we'll rotate out, and I'll, and I'll invite everybody else. How about that? Salty Taco 115. Let's try that. Hold on. Stop doing that, Halo. Yeah, I still can't. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, 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 guys. Um, we'll rotate out. We'll do a couple of matches, maybe three. We're unable to matchmaking with idling players. Oh, people are idling. Move your mouse around. Roxas, Joker. Wake up. There we go. Thank you. Not all players have the required install. Oh, let's get rid of Reach. No, do some of you not have Halo 3? There we go. Okay, well, I guess we'll have six. Let's, uh, let's bring everyone and we'll try inviting Salty Taco. Make sure you have uh, Halo 3 and or Reach, you guys. Or, and Reach. Have both. Yeah. Uh... No worries. No. I... <laughs> Salty Taco gave you an invite. Julian Vader. Unable what? Maybe I wrote it wrong. There we go. Invite. Need the Salty Taco. Hmm. Gotta get that salt. There we go. Julian Vader's in. Uh, Salty Taco's in. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. Next time. Next time. Yeah, we'll play three matches, and then we're going to rotate out. And I'll do another poll, just in case if, some, if the next group wants to play something different. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, I, I, it's still weird that they use the Halo 4 and 5 shotgun for the icon up here. Don't know why. Hmm. I never noticed until you pointed it out. Oh no, we jump, we jump so low. Oh, we have a battle rifle. Interesting. Do they have shields? They do, and had gravity hammers. This is different. Let me know how the audio is, by the way. Oh boy, I feel bad. We have battle rifles. This isn't fair. God, they're fast, though. Chat is blocking the score? Okay, I'll, uh... Got one. I'll move it. Up there. There we go. Uh, you can do custom games with more players. The thing is, I don't have any custom game modes. It would, uh, take me a while to make them. We, we should have we should have a field day where we just get some people together and make some yeah yeah or just download that playlist that Zach has that that too wherever he found that yeah I'm sure we could get the get the stuff oh boy this is actually getting scary they're swarming us Oh, uh, the fact that the radar doesn't show their elevation is scary. They've got griff ball loadouts. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, we don't have shields. I thought we did. Nope. Hooey bumper! Oh, what? Shit. I'm alive. <laughs> Just play Griff Ball. Yeah, we could play Griff Ball, couldn't we? Hmm. Don't know if I have that mode. Alright, I'm going zombie hunting. No more scaredness. I'm going hunting. Fuck. <laughs> I just watched. Oh, fuck. I also just got <laughs> smashed. <laughs> My hubris. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, no, I, just, I, I, I watched your body fly out from behind a corner, and then, uh... Yeah, I wasn't long for the world, either. Actually, what I could do is we could play a Griff Ball match in matchmaking, and then I could save the game mode, then bring it into custom games. And then play with viewers there. Huh. If people are interested in it, that is. I'll do another poll after this rotation is over. Mm. <laughs> he died as he lived, heading headfirst into danger. He's gonna run serpentine. It's not working. The serpentine, it doesn't work. Uh, I've lost all battle strategy. Panic. This, I'm... Since... Halo 3 came to PC. I've played this map more than I think I've ever did in original Halo 3. I need to I need to play more of the multiplayer. Cuz like this map did not show up in matchmaking whatsoever because like when it first came up I was like I don't remember this. Yeah. Well, that works. All right, AOE damage. Hell yeah. That works. I earned that kill. Okay, okay. Hooter, Hooter, I smash you. Not that way. Dead.
God well, shit. <laughs> Was that you? Yeah. Having a mouse really does make um freaking hammer jumping a lot faster because you just like jump and turn on a dime as opposed to on a controller. Also, oh, yeah. speaking of mouse and keyboard, banshees are overpowered on my ah uh, Jay. What? Was that you? What? What do you mean? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! Wait, no. I I like hammered. I was trying out hammer jumping because I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Were you near me? I yeah, I was, and I jumped as you did, and it knocked me off. Oh. Yeah, no, I was like, because like I forgot about hammer jumping. Uh. So, here I'll be the distraction. All right, go. <laughs> I died. Mm, well, There's an I icon I don't want to show. What icon? Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Um, run with a sword. You always run faster with a knife. I'm also unaware of fish's icon. I see. Well, there's not much I can do about that. I can't really control. And they thought having preset icons would stop people from making dirty uh, emblems. Ah, I see. Now I notice. Yep. Took a minute. Oh, hello. <laughs> Saw a red dot on my radar, and I'm like, oh. What's supposed to be? That's a vagina. New zombie. You can see the clitoris. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Don't kill me. Yeah, knocked me off. Ba -ba! New zombie. New zombie. Well done. GG, yes. Joker. You win. The FBI is already investigating. Yeah, man. They're they're coming. They're they're gonna knock down your door first, just to make sure, and then they'll go find a uh, fish. GG. Mm-hmm. Jeez. I wonder what people are saying. I'm gonna check I'm gonna check Twitter what people are saying about Halo. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I also I, I also have not opened uh Twitter. Oh, Last me. time I opened Twitter after a game reveal, I saw porn of um the new uh, Ratchet and Clank character. Oh, good. <laughs> I like. I opened Twitter. I went three posts down. I'm like, oh, yep, there it is. Alrighty. No, don't argue, Joe. Don't, don't, don't. I'm like, oh, uh, uh, don't debate. Oh, uh, don't. Look, here, the, debate with your with your good buddy, your good friend. Yeah, I'll just debate in this echo chamber where everyone will agree with me anyway. Uh, uh, don't be so sure. So, Jimbo said, I see zero downsides to faster movement. But that's not the argument. The argument is, it's the sprint, right, doesn't add faster mm -hmm. movement if you design around it and make the maps bigger, where you get to the place that you would normally... Like, you could just up the movement speed without them dropping their gun. If you yeah. wanted faster movement, you could either make the maps smaller, or just straight up up the movement speed. You know? Yeah, sprint. I yeah, sprinting in Halo is. I'm not. I'm not against or for it. I'm just sort of like, well, it's here. All right. I mean. Yeah, I just don't think there are no downsides like some people believe. 
Yeah, radar it, there, is massive. it it does have a few. It does, uh, and yeah. I I, th I think um, I, I definitely prefer not. Yeah, uh, sprinting. But I mean, I'm not gonna fucking harsh on anyone who's like, oh, I like sprinting. No, yeah, of course. Just like acknowledge that there are valid counter arguments to it. Yeah, no. I think each side has a point, and, uh... Eh. So this is a game mode actually for sneaky zombies, because they're invisible. Yeah. I just noticed. I didn't die, but... Oh, no. What? No, not, no, that's not Gary the Bomb. This is the most useful piece of equipment. The radar jammer. You know, the, yeah, the thing that puts a bunch of red dots on your screen so you know there's a radar jammer? Defeating the purpose of a radar jammer? It's my favorite piece of equipment on the Citadel. And it totally works in single player, too. You know, all those characters, those enemies that use a radar, their radar to find you? Hell yeah. I'm going down. All right. This mode, admittedly, is... I've played this uh, before with Green Skull. This mode is not in favor of the zombies at all. Like, so many so many rounds time out. Oh, is Salty Taco the only zombie? Fear is un un unfair? Yeah, it really is. We might actually do a couple of more than promised, just so the zombies can have fun. Because we, we have not gotten a classic zombie mode yet. Yeah. Just with swords. Here, Salty Taco. I'll let you turn me into a zombie. Oh, never mind. You've got a friend now. There we go. God, that, that thing's got range. I was, like, way far away and it got me. Hmm. Like this map, right? You can't really have ledges like this, you know, like the the whole point to a ledge like this is that you have to come up here and then go to it, you know, and sprint kind of breaks that where you can just say sprint jump from here up to there. Yeah. Which kind of breaks this, like this is just a tiny example and it's maybe me just nitpicking, but you see what I mean, right? It's just like... Well, this this jump is now easy ac accessible with sprinting, but then you no longer, if you're here, you don't have that advantage anymore where someone's coming up and they have to go all the way around. But if they can just sprint jump, then, then this map doesn't work anymore, or at least doesn't work the same, so they have to change it. So if they change it, then it defeats the purpose of having sprint so you go faster in the first place. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense to chat. And again, that video with midship, where the, the character is sprinting and reaches the same point in midship as the character without sprinting, you know? Because they have to make the maps larger to compensate, because if they don't, then the maps feel too small, because you can sprint. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, hey, I, nah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna harsh him for trying new things out. No, yeah, not at all, like... I'm disagreeing with the direction, but I'm not saying, you know, it's going to make yeah. it suck. Oh, yeah. I just, you know, personal preference, all that stuff. But, like, oh, um, yeah. another reason is because Halo is all about vehicles, too, right? Getting on vehicles and stuff. Because you're <laughs> slow as shit without vehicles. So that gives you a better incentive to get on a mongoose. A weapon, I mean, a vehicle with no weapons on it. No one would yeah. use a mongoose if you could, I mean... The mongoose is so fast, you know, and even I mean, in Halo 3, you see a reason to pick it up and, and or get in it and use it because you're so slow, or rather because it's so much faster than you are. Yeah. I mean, even even with Sprint, I will get in a mon... and this is this ties back to me just being a dumbass doing dumbass things. I'm going to get in a mongoose. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm going to try and run everyone over. Yeah. But the incentive there is less because you can sprint, right? The, it's oh, e yeah, for even, sure. Like, you're going to do it because it's dumb. Like, but you would do yeah. that even if there wasn't sprint. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's like, it, it, my, my point is null. So, like, 
it's um whereas some people might have not gotten in a mongoose if they could just sprint which um they would if there wasn't sprint you know that that's another thing that i feel like it it emphasizes even seemingly useless vehicles when you have such limited movement mm-hmm Mongoose is a bad vehicle? No, it's it is good at one thing. If it's not if nothing else, it's good at one thing and it's getting you from point A to B faster than it than you would be able to otherwise. So it still has a use. With sprinting, that use is still there, but just less so. Yeah. Nah, man, I oh, fucking love the mongoose. I, I I like the way it drives a lot, a lot honestly. Mm -hmm. Even if it is just a slippery son of a bitch. Here's another uh, comparison that Chris Raygun did, uh, made with guns. Think about it like guns, right? In Halo, mm -hmm. you don't start with a rocket launcher. You have to fight for map control and pick it up and then use it, right? Whereas yeah. in, in other games like Call of Duty, you can just give yourself a rocket launcher at the start, you know? Yeah. Yeah. In Halo, you have to fight for the, the ghost that allows you to go faster and shoot things, you know? In in Halo, you have to fight for that. In Battlefront, you just spawn with that stuff. It's because it's a different type of game. Yeah. Yeah, I, people are trying to reach me and kill me. It's not too worrying because this... I feel like this mode is a little bit imbalanced in the human's favor. Yeah. Zombies don't really have a lot. We've got a big radar. They've only got gravity hammers. Okay, well I'll then. still crack your skull, though. That is true. Touche. New zombie. New zombie. And the proof is in the pudding. Halo 3 was the peak of the the series' popularity. You know, Halo Reach came, oh, yeah. comes out, and, you know, people still like Reach, but it was nowhere near the boom of Halo Reach. I mean, uh, of Halo 3. Reach is when they started adding in things like jetpacks and sprinting. I don't think that's a coincidence. Same with Halo 4. Halo 4, everyone had sprint. They made it inherent. It was no longer a armor ability yeah, that you could drop. Yeah. And I think that plays into, however subtle, Halo's sandbox and its fun factor and, like, all that stuff. You can see, you know? And maybe maybe some more factors, franchise fatigue and all that stuff. But I mm. think it definitely plays a part in, yeah, in Halo I mean... not feeling the same. Whether or not you're okay with Halo changing is going to be subjective and very from person to person. You know, I, I don't think it's a worse game for it. My, my The whole argument I'm making is it's different and it's not Halo to me anymore. Mm hmm Yeah, no, I, um... Sorry, I lost my track tracking my thoughts um nah because like when we were playing halo 3 the other day um man i was a lot more into halo 3 than i was uh reach both when i mean just like you know just when, when we were playing it i was just like reach was still very fun but halo 3 like it just feels better mm -hmm. i feel bad for these zombies yeah, the zombie life is rough. Here we go. Here, kill me. I'm here. Where are you? Kill me. Zombie. Ah, it's up there. But of course, Halo's in this weird scenario now that zombie. that it's introduced sprint. Taking it out will mean that there will people be people who miss it because to them that's what Halo was. You know, there are people who were, have, were introduced to Halo with a sprint. So now they're in this really difficult scenario now where their enhanced mobility was part of the game for some people. Yeah. 
where are you? Where's this red dot on the screen? And they're like, oh, there you are. Yif my butt, ooh woo. Mmm. Nice. Nice. And if you if you want, it, like, some of this might sound like, well, then what the hell are they supposed to change? A better person who makes better videos and topics and explanations for this is Favin. F-A-V-Y-N. He explains it really, really well and better than I ever could. And he explains how Halo can innovate in its sequels that, you know, makes sense with its sandbox and doesn't change it. Yeah. Or at least change it into something that doesn't feel like Halo in a lot of classic Halo's eyes. Uh, a classic Halo player's eyes. I said that. that mm -hmm. I, I mean. Because, you know, chain, there might be some changes that I want in Halo that uh, plenty of other people don't want. That plenty of other people would say is not what they want in Halo. It's not the thing they, they play Halo for. Yeah, man. Listen, if I'm going to play Halo, I need, you know, I need a full-on section where it's just Master Chief unzipping using the urinal, all right? Like, <laughs> come on. Right. I it's, need uh, to know where Master Chief pees. Yeah. Jim Sterling made the uh, video about this a long time ago when everyone was making modern military shooters, right? Where mm -hmm. it was kind of in defense of Call of Duty, which at the time was getting a lot of hate as well, like because of franchise fatigue. Oh, what? I'm, yeah. I was not idle. But like everyone was making their own Call of Duty. And Jim Sterling said, if people already have Call of Duty, why would they want to buy Call of Duty? You know? Because they can't, they play Call of Duty for that experience. They're not going to buy Medal of Honor for that experience. They're not going to buy Battlefield for that experience. Mm -hmm. They're going to buy Call of Duty for a Call of Duty experience. Yeah. People pl buy Battlefield for a Battlefield experience, you know? Mm -hmm. If you want a faster... If, if, if you were like, Battlefield's too slow-paced and the maps are too big and... You know, there's not enough customization in the loadouts, and there's too many vehicles. I just want boots on the ground. People, you know what people would say? People would say, play a different game, because that's what Battlefield is. That's yeah, how I feel exactly. about Halo. It's... If if you yeah. want aiming down the sights, and you want sprinting, you want dodging left and right, don't play Halo for that. That's not what Halo is. Yeah. But again, to me. All right. Uh... If you guys could, uh, it's kicking me out because of idle. So just like waggle your mouse around a little bit. I hope they fix that. Like if you if you don't if if you sit idle for like one minute, then it kicks you out of matchmaking. Yeah, it's. <sighs> uh, other than Halo, what else were was I expecting from the showcase? Nothing. I didn't have any expectations. Yeah, Halo was the reason I came there, but I was pleasantly surprised by. Uh, a couple things, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, what? 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 How? It, it was the. Uh, it was the uh, Obsidian RPG. Um, Avowed. Yeah. That, even 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 though even though didn't really see any gameplay or anything about it, I'm interested. I'm cheering Obsidian on with their uh, Bethesda knockoff games because, yeah. like. Cause, Man, uh, Bethesda's mm -hmm. fallen behind. I, I like that yeah. we're in this age of, like, I'm going to make my own insert game here with Blackjack and Hookers. Blackjack and Hookers, yeah. Some with varying levels of success. They they did that with Bloodstained as their own Castlevania. It was Mighty Number no. mm -hmm. 9 as their own Mega Man. And, yeah. you know. There's, uh, there's going to be hits and there's going to be misses. Yeah. And then there's, you know, Outer Worlds for their own Fallout. Now they're doing Avowed for their own yeah. Elder Scrolls. And I look forward I, uh, to I what they make because Obsidian it has a good track record. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play. Um, I didn't play Outer Worlds. Um, I heard some people liked it, some people didn't, uh, and I just never got around to it. Ow! Apologies if my hand stutter. I always my hand always stutters when I either use the shotgun or the. Sniper rifle. 
My hand just goes all over the place. Uh, I feel it. I get that with sword. Ooh, double kill with a single you shot. Bastard. This is also my favorite Halo shotgun. Reach? Reach one, yeah. How it performs anyway. Halo 3, mm -hmm. it's like, it feels weak in Halo 3. Like, I feel like yeah. I almost always have to melee. And I should have yeah. lived there. I got a bolt true. All right, fine with that. Uh, you know, maybe the uh, maybe the pipe was a bad idea. Yeah, I see. I get the funny feeling. Hello there. All right. Outer Worlds was all right. Nothing mind blowing, but pleasant. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It was their yeah. their own take on a Fallout. It wasn't something to like be like, oh, game of the year. Uh, which it might be some, uh, but it was like, mm -hmm. it was just like, we're going to do our own Fallout now. And they did. Yeah. Because people really like New Vegas, and uh, they were like, hey, give Fallout to Obsidian. And Bethesda was like, no. So Obsidian I, I, made their yeah. own Fallout. I do agree. New Vegas is my favorite. Uh, my favorite Fallout. Do they add Forge yet? Yes, they added Forge to Reach and 3, at least in MCC PC anyway. It was always in the mm -hmm. console games. And they upgraded Halo 3's Forge as well to have Halo Reach's features like phased and fixed and, you know, orbiting around the object and all that stuff. Also, we can put in the spaceships and that makes me happy. Yeah, you can put in Reach's Nightfall spaceships. Wait, does somebody copying my look? Excuse me? Excuse me? E no, okay, that's military police. Never mind. Die! Die! <laughs> Doesn't Halo 2A have Forge? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it has it on PC. I didn't check. Uh, I don't... I could be wrong. Round over. At this point, I'm just trying to get games because of how often I'm surprised as of late. Like, uh, I'm just trying games because of how often I'm surprised as of late. Like with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Infection. I heard good things about that. A lot of yeah, good games. I, um, I mean, yeah, a lot of good games these past few years. Yeah, I um, I, I was recently surprised by um, uh, Outer Wilds. I hadn't I hadn't played it uh, ever, and oh, yeah. uh, it was gifted to me. Um, and you know what? That's probably one of the best games that I've played, period. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's good. I'll have to check it out. It's yeah, so the, good. For you guys, Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds. It is an unfortunate, coincidental, similarly named game. Uh, it's like a it's like a s space exploration game, yeah? Uh, it's... Yeah, and it, it's... It, uh, it's sort of like this archaeology sort of thing, almost, and it's just really fun. Like, I mean, you're learning about this, um, this long-dead civilization as you go about the universe, or as you go about the solar system. And I, I'm not gonna talk about really anything beyond that, because learning everything about that game is what makes it so good. Interesting. Like, it, it's, it's the pure th thing that you're just feeding your curiosity and it works huh. so well and oh. there there's moments in that game where like i've i've just like been had chills go down my spine i'm like oh my god that's so cool i'll take your word for it uh thoughts on elden ring uh looks like a cool match three game since there's no gameplay i'm gonna assume it's a match three <laughs> is that Until is that your first assumption my yeah i have a rule i assume it's a match three unless proven otherwise there's no I reason for me role. to not think it's a match three. They haven't shown any gameplay. Zombie. That's fair. So that means uh, Avowed could be a match three. Avowed is a match three game until proven otherwise. Damn. But uh, thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077? I mean, looks neat. Sure. Yeah, it um, looks like neat match three. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, but there is gameplay of that, isn't there? Uh, there, there uh, I, yeah, I think there is. I, yeah. I just run the joke. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not hyped like other people are. Um, sh sure, it's CD Projekt Red, and, you know, Witcher 3 is good, so, yeah, I'm assuming that it's going to be good. How yeah, good? I'm, I don't know. I'm hopeful for it. Yeah. Because uh, I, I quite like... Ooh, that was close. I quite like uh, Cyberpunk in general um, as a 
as a setting. Uh, I've used it for a couple D and D things, uh, some homebrew stuff. Uh, so I'm, you know, ah shit. Hello. So I'm I'm excited to uh to see like a game that seems like it'll uh be pretty expansive in that setting, and I'm hopeful. See, people will say, oh, well, you're sprinting here, like, but, like, the same thing could be achieved with just upping the movement speed, and you would just be able to slash while you run, you know? Mm-hmm. Nothing sprint does can't be achieved by just upping the base movement speed, IMHO. But I do see the argument of, you know, it feels good to sprint. I like the agency. It makes me feel like I'm... You know, going a little bit faster. I feel yeah. more immersed when I can sprint. I, I get it, you know, because I had that those thoughts too, and I do somewhat still share those thoughts. Any upcoming games you are hyped for? Halo Infinite and Baldur's Gate 3, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd say I am hyped for Cyberpunk, but... It's a very cautious one. Uh, it's it's not it's not full on like I'm sitting here, you know, uh, just waiting for or like you know waiting with bated breath. I'm just like, okay, it seems really cool, but let's hold our breath here. Mm -hmm. Any news of console version of Baldur's Gate Three? Not that I know of. Um, I would expect maybe like a year out or so for it to come to. Um, current and next-gen consoles, because that's about how long it took Divinity to, like, a year or two before it came to Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Mm. And then finally Switch last year, so... Yeah. I would expect yeah, no, it to that much. Divinity 2 was, uh... That was good. Yes. I enjoyed that. Hello. I, 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 think, I think I can finally play it again, because after the, uh eight plus hour sessions that happened with uh zach and alec you've recovered i think i've finally recovered to the point that i'm like yeah okay maybe i could play that again mm -hmm. ah i got an assist nice all right, we'll do one more because the, there was one infection match that was not, not very fun for the zombies. Now remember to waggle, everybody. Waggle your your controller or mouse or whatever so it keeps us in, so it doesn't kick us out. And then I'll I'll, I'll make a second poll and I'll, I'll invite in everybody else. We'll rotate out. Did they announce when Bioshock 4 is coming out? Did they even announce that Bioshock 4 was in development? Yeah, wait, is that a thing? Um, if I was going to do solo uh, DOS 2, just you and chat. Um, I have changed plans that I'm going to be streaming it with a group. However, everyone in the group has played and we're gonna do a gimmick playthrough. We're gonna play evil characters. Mm. We're gonna be evil. I was thinking the other idea was just play through by myself so I could just hang out with chat. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think I'd play Divinity alone. That doesn't seem like a game that I would personally do alone yeah it's it's an acquired taste it varies from people to people some can do it i do i can fully enjoy <laughs> divinity by myself but yeah, oh, yeah some people much prefer playing with others yeah I've, I've got a couple games in my library that i need to get to but it's just like but do i want to play that alone <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean that that was the case with uh Dark Souls, I still haven't gone through that game entirely. Mm. Excuse me. Okay. 
Come on, Halo Reach. I believe in you. You can do it. Please. Evil, full evil, or funny, light evil? Funny, full evil. We're gonna be very, very evil, but we're probably gonna be hilarious about it. Right now, I'm currently playing... Oh my god, it's the dodgy zombies. Hello, Jay. Nice. Hello. Double kill. I'm coming for you. No. No, do not. Do not come from my booty. Uh, but I must. Currently, I'm playing an offline game. No, you don't. Uh, with uh, with Davy Chappie, a uh, mutual friend, Scara Munter, and Ian from Hijack. And um, we're playing our own offline game. I do kind of wish that I streamed that because it's it's really fun and exciting. And I, I feel bad that I didn't start streaming it from the beginning. But that was back during the time where I was like, I just want to do something without having to record it. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think I'm grateful for that, that I didn't record it. But uh, it's really fun, and we, we're all playing kind of semi joke characters. I'm playing as John Shootaman, who has a. is going Infection. summoner huntsman. So he's got a bow, and he's got a crazy good crossbow right now, and summoning's through the roof. Um, so he's got a big old incarnate. Uh, Davy is playing a skeleton wizard called Bonesley Not Dederson, and he does water and electric magic, or air magic, I guess. Yeah. Skara is an elf um, rogue. He's going, like, full scoundrel, like, just all points in the scoundrel with a little bit of necromancy. And his name is Elpheus Stabadude. Nice. Huntsman buffs work on totems? I don't know. Um... And Ian is playing a sort of warrior style sword and shield, or I guess one hand and weapon and shield lizard called uh, Seth Snakeman. So, <laughs> so we've got John Shootaman, Seth Snakeman, Elpheus Stabadude, and Bonesley Not Dederson in our party, and it's great. We've got the two kind of noble warriors in John and Seth. And then we've got the murder hobos in uh, Bonesley and uh, Elpheus, which is great. A great dynamic between us, I think. It's like Hell yeah, every, man. Every time, it's like this problem. Every time uh, Elpheus and Bonesley are like, this problem could be solved by killing people. And then <laughs> uh, me and uh, Seth are like, no. It sounds like a riot. Oh, yeah, it's loads of fun. Yeah, no, I, I I, think I need to play Divinity again. Ah, shit. Oh boy, look at this guy. Hello. Alright. Yeah, no, I, um... Yeah, we, I, I mean, I think the same sort of goes for the uh, Pathfinder game that has been on hiatus recently. Um... But, like... Uh, there, there was a bit where we're like, oh, well, should we stream it? Should we not? Um, I'm, I'm sort of glad we ended up streaming it because it, it's, it's been neat to, I guess, sort of share. Yeah. Oh boy, this guy. Nope, you're not. You don't see me. Not seeing me. Ah, I got him! Killjoy infected. Infection. What system am I talking about? Divinity Original Sin 2. Great game. If you ever wanted to play D&D the video game, play that. Because it's straight up D&D the video game. Yeah. Got him. I'm gonna snipe you, Jay. I didn't snipe oh. you, Jay. I thought we were friends. Hey, Mir. Thank you. Got a bull true for that. 
Damn. Mm. Hey, Jay. Sup? I didn't shoot you. Somebody else nope. did. Not my fault. Uh, I'll still blame you, though. Holy shit! Get out of here. Where the hell? God damn. Some people with a pistol. God damn. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Hello. Spartan lock. Holy shit! Good old splock. As it were. Killing spree. Zombie killing spree. Yeah, you can see my arms spat just like completely go erratic whenever the uh I need to shoot a zombie quickly. Shotgun spree. Oof. Double kill. Ooh. Hello. Oh god, they're swarming me. <gasps> Hello. Goodbye. See ya. Come back, friend Joseph. No. I'm good. I don't need any hugs. I'm Whoa! social distancing. Zombie. Yeah, Divinity is multiplayer, which makes it loads of fun. I don't think it would be nearly as well regarded as it is if it didn't have co-op. Mm -hmm. Or nearly as fun. That's what's so great about it. It makes it feel like D&D. Is that, yeah, uh, that you can play it with other with your friends. Yeah, that, that that that's why I think I'd have a much harder time enjoying it alone. Uh, cause I actually did try it alone, and I was just like, well, mm -hmm. eh. Hello. Well, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Divinity 2 is on sale. In, ooh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, perfect time to get it. They just released their newest Game free over. DLC expansion thing. I mean, so, yeah. did it add anything to the story or anything? Uh, I'm sure side quests and stuff. All right. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. Uh, I'm going to rotate out some people, and we're going to invite uh, these other people who have been waiting. So uh, if you could get out, leave, get out of here. I'm kicking get you off my, the horse. Get out of my room, Mom! <laughs> out of my room! But thank you for I'm playing. playing Halo. Much appreciated. Okay, we're gonna make another poll. See what you guys want to play. Uh, manage poll. New poll. Uh, what mode? BTB. Uh, BTB. Eight. Players, um, free for all, eight players, infection, which seems like six, players, or I guess eight. I don't know. I'll just put 12. There we go. We're not going to do Griff Ball because that would mean that I only bring in two people. We'll do mm. Griff Ball next time I play Halo. Let's see. Free for all. You guys wanna you guys wanna throw hands? You wanna see how skilled I am at the Halo? At the Halo? It was pretty yeah, split here. Yeah, I think I've uh I think I've had my ass handed to me uh by you more than once. Oh yeah, I I handed Green Skull's ass to him as well. We, there was a free for all big team battle and the stream vod is available too. Like if you check his uh Twitch channel. I kicked his ass. I I was like in last place and I pulled it out at the very end. Get some customs. I don't have any custom games. I only have the basic custom games, sadly. I will next time though. I'm going to download a bunch of yeah, there's a mega pack with all the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get those. I'll get those. Oh god, looks like free-for-all's winning. Fuck, I might... I'm, I might spend some time today messing around in Forge. What did I pull out at the uh, last minute? A win. I won. I won! I won! The money! The money is mine! I won! Pulled out a... 
pulled out a big gun and just killed him. Oh my god. Got one. No. Okay. Let's see. Got one. No. So I'm gonna invite these peeps. So I'm sending invites to everyone who tried to invite me because that's how it worked last time. Aeon Hero. Wait. What? Aeon Hero 64. Why does it keep doing this? 64. <clears throat> Wait, is it A uh, with an E? With an E, I see. I see, I see. I mean, isn't that how Aeon usually is? It is, yeah. I just misspelled it. Mmm, I see. Uh, unable to locate what? Gamer to do. A E O N Hero 64. Maybe they went offline. That's possible. But, I mean, these are from... A while ago, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it took so long. There we go. Invite player. It's got a... Elite with a pistol. Uh, no V16. No V16. Fight player. All right, free for all. You guys are gonna have to fight me. Let's see. Let's put it on free for all. Rumble pit. Yep. Not snipers. I'm awful at snipers. Oh, sounds like uh, sounds like someone's a little scared, a bit of sniping. Caps matter? No, it doesn't. A I didn't caps Aeon, and it worked. Uh, I did not send invite. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Just a little bit flustered. Ah, stop. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright, uh, Gulash Gusti, G U L A S C H Gusti. There we go. Invite sent. Mossy Bear. The Mossy Bear. Past rem, past pastramicity. I think that's one of my viewers. I think they have the same uh, screen name on their Twitch. Pastramicity. Nice. Pastramicity. 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 There we go. Invited. Yeah, there you are. I recognize you. Jayhawk115. Okay. Fight player. All right. Is this 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Oh, uh, sorry, Jayhawk. Um, this is the max amount of players. Oh, not everyone. Oh, hold on. Let me get rid of these. Halo 3. Oh, someone doesn't have Halo 3. Get the shotgun, we'll take him out back. Just... Sorry, if, if you don't have it downloaded, then we can't play. There we go. Okay, Jayhawk, you can you can come in then. Uh, I'll, I'll invite you again in case you need it. Jayhawk 115. Alright, and then after this, I think I'm going to call the stream. That's fair. Been going for three hours. Look at you, big stream man. I know, large streamy boy. Three hours? Really? Ooh, jeez. Surprise. Sneaks up on you. Oh, if anybody else wants to play, we've got two slots open. If you send me an invite, Joseph Jokat, or just Jokat, I guess. Or if you search the name Joseph Jokat by going clicking your own character's name, find player, and then invite me. I can see your invite, and then I can invite you. But make sure you have Halo 3 installed. I'll take off Reach. 
uh, Salty Taco. Uh, we played last time, so I'm gonna wait, see if anybody else joins in, and if nobody does, then I'll invite you again. The invite isn't getting sent. Interesting. I'll try it again. Jayhawk. Five. Sent the invite. Lurking and working. Anybody else who wants to play? Halo 3, uh, MCC, PC. Send an invite to me and I will invite you to the party. D-Bond ODST. D-Bond. Make sure you have Halo 3 installed. ODST. Da -da 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 -da. I, I, Invite. Sorry, I, I, uh, I, was, I was opening Twitter again, and um, I, I, I had already forgotten about... Um, uh, oh, what was the title? Grounded. Uh, that other Obsidian thing that's happening. That isn't an RPG. Oh yeah, the the freaking survival crafting game where you're shrunken. That looks neat too. Yeah, yeah, it it looks interesting. I um, I'm not quite sure it's for me, but I guess we'll see what happens. Four eight one five exuberant four eight one five exuberant waifu. The one good character from Halo Five. There we go. Because she There's had a great character. voice. Ooh. Oh. She was the monitor of uh, the shield world that they were on or something. Alright, sent to you the invite, Exuberant. Her name was Exu Exuberant Witness, but I call her Exuberant Waifu. Waiting on you, Exuberant. Oh, you don't have Halo 3 installed. All right, well, okay. Since it's been a while uh, for people who got their chance to join, Salty Taco, you join in. Salty Taco. One, one, five. Invite. Come back to us, Taco. All right. Show me your moves. Show me your skills. I'm gonna kick your asses, all of yous. I'm just waiting till there's some like big fish in here that's gonna wipe the field. That isn't Joe. I missed your sub. Sorry, I missed a lot of subs after the thing was over. I'll read them at the end of the stream. Don't worry. After the uh, the reveal stuff, I was just paying, f giving my full attention up to uh, the stuff. Oh boy, what is this? Oh no! Ball time. Ball is life. Get away from ball. That is mine. Ball is mine. Oh shit! I should have punched. You, you think you deserve the ball? <laughs> ball is life. It either. No. Ball is not yours. Ball is mine. Get out of here, Taco. Ball is mine, bitches! See ya! You can't escape fate, Joseph. Well, I killed someone with the ball. No, ODST, come back! Oh, you... Punch. Hello, you Mossy punch Bear. You friend like that, huh? Wow, I can't believe you. Man, I'm really good at n not hitting shots, aren't I? What are you doing? What are no you stuff. Doing? Just a little bit of stuff. Some of that stuff. Mine, 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 mine. Where'd it go? Oh, you yeah, mine. All right. What's the best armor, in my opinion? I don't know. I don't think there is a best armor. The best looking. I have a preference of uh, which ones I like, but uh, I don't think there is a best looking. Punch! Punch! Oh no! 
I almost got you! Pharma Pharamacity or whatever your name is. Pa Pastramacity. Almost got a triple kill. I'm terrible with this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, made it! Well then, I guess the ball is mine. Thanks for that. Come on. Punch! Come up here. Challenge me. Punch! Oh. Challenge me. Punch! Yes! Punch! Yes! Oh. <laughs> In your faces. Don't challenge the ball at close range. But uh, my preference, my favorite helmet is um, ODST. But Halo 4, I love the Recruit helmet. It is like super OEST. Launch. Yeah, no, I, I, I love I love uh, Pilot helmet from Reach. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you finally have a chance to actually unlock it now that they added the uh, new unlocking system. You can get yeah. tokens way easier. Yeah, which is nice. Because that thing is like at the goddamn end of the list. Mm-hmm. All right, he's all the way up there now. Goodbye, Mossy Bear. Just wanted to shoot you and annoy you a little bit. Ball taken. Ouch. Ball taken. Ball taken. Mine. So, uh, you like ball? I like ball. Ball is life! Ball is life! Ah. Oh man. Oh, that's another reason why to go against sprint, right? Is um you see how I was catching up I was trying to catch up with that guy, but he was just running away. The thing about sprint is it gets rid of outplay potential like that. Because uh oh well, there goes the ball. Uh because let's say someone has a sword, right? The sword is more of a defensive weapon than you think. Where oh hello. Oh got me at the last minute. So Someone has a sword, you actually have a chance to kill them as long as you back away and keep them at bay, right? But if they have sprint, they can just run up to you and kill you, and there's no outplay there. That's another reason sprint can be harmful, right? Is it just makes... it just extends the range of a sword or a shotgun. Whereas that's their niche, right? That's their niche range. But if they can just sprint up to you, then that just extends it, and you can't really outplay them, and you can't really kill them any faster. Then they could just sprint up to you and kill you. Whereas before, there was some outplay, you still- you had to set up- If you had a sword, you still had to be a little bit careful, you know? Hello, Jay. What's up? Heard Whereas you with ball? this, if I can't sprint, you know, I still need to play better and play good and position myself and stuff. Hello. Oh no, they were ganging up on me! Oh, they were... Oh, up, they, they had a truce going! No. There is no truce. You can't sprint the, with, with the ball. I know, but I was talking specifically about like things like the sword and shotgun. Because if you can sprint, that extends their range as well. If someone has a sword coming at you and they can sprint, there's not much you can do about it. You know, you can try and keep them at bay. But you can't sprint backwards. And if you're thinking, oh, just add sprint backwards, I, that still doesn't... You know, there's still some other thing. Hey, Jay, die. What's up? I don't know. I just think there are more problems you have to design around if you add sprint. Like, notice how you now have to do a bunch of other things. Also, in your faces, everybody. I am a Halo God. GG. But yeah, that's what I mean, is like, all of these problems are solved a lot simpler and easier if you just don't have sprint. Because once you add sprint, then you have to add a bunch of this other stuff to balance it, you know? Thank you. GG indeed. GG. I hope that smack talk wasn't too harsh. Nah. Yeah, we'll play a few more rounds so you guys can have a chance to redeem yourselves. Re get back your... Your, uh, honor. 
So I wiped right, the floor Zuko, with calm you guys. Down. Oh my god, free for all SWAT. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh shit. no, SWAT. SWAT. Oh, this was before they added the the announcement of SWAT, I think. Unless it's just... Oh my god. Anyone who doesn't know, what SWAT is, is you have no shields and no radar. Which means, when you don't have a shield, fun fact, precision weapons insta-kill headshots. So, it is basically this game's hardcore mode. This was like the MLG Oops. of the MLG mode. Well, you know what, D-Bond? <laughs> nice shit. Hey, Jay. You know, I... It, you bastard. <laughs> there we go. I, oh, I didn't what? even no, see I where I first. was until I was dead. Ah, oh, host advantage! Host advantage! You are the host. Am I? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty host sure. disadvantage! I'm a big old sitting duck in the air there. Come on back out, Joe. Come on. No. Ah. Fucking little little baby man. I punched the shield? No, I lunged. I I chat, I will show you. I will go into theater mode. I will prove <laughs> it to you. I'll prove I have proof. That's another thing I love about Halo, is you can prove it. You can be like, oh, yeah. no no no! I can show it to you. Yeah, man, I got a I got a eight eight you know, eight kill streak with Five three sixty no scope and uh, and uh, one of them was a triple kill and you know you got to prove it. It's yep. in theater, baby. Oh, I know. I didn't save it in theater. It was too far. Away. It was too long ago. It's like uh huh. Called out a lot of light white lies because of theater when someone's like, I actually got a sh headshot with a shotgun. I'm like, oh wait, let me guess. You don't have the theater for it. It was like, no, shut up. I I. I I just, yeah, I did. I was like, uh huh. Fucking load of horse piss. A lot of poopy dookie. Poopy dookie in my pants. It, it just ends up there, you know? Also, a fun little thing I want you to help me with, Jay, is, um, fun thing about the elites is they have uh, their hitboxes like the Spartan hitbox, which means you can shoot through their necks. Mm-hmm. Huh. Little thing. Interesting. At least I think it's because they have the same hitbox as a Spartan. Don't quite remember exactly what it was, but their hitbox is weird. Yeah. To try and make it similar to the Spartans. Oh, hello. Sorry, hero. <laughs> Ooh, you startled me there. Ow. Well. I also do a pool. Well. Wow. Ow. You were trying to. Oh, the disrespect! I like pistols. What of it? Oh, you. F oh, you. You. I you run jerk. around with pistols and do this. You, I, I, I constantly use pistols. Disrespectful, dishonorable man. Disrespectful? What's disrespectful about a pistol? I feel like we you, have you a pistol You think you're better fight. than me? That you could just oh. kill me with a pistol? Oh, are we are we about to have a pistol fight later, Joseph? Huh? Maybe. Maybe we are. Ah. Fuck you! Oh. Nice. <laughs> Elites are exactly the same hitbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can confirm. All right. So they have the exact same hitbox, which results in their uh, character model not looking like uh, looking like you can shoot through it. No! God, you die so fast! View model disadvantage comes to info. Uh, okay, yeah, I would guess so. Oh, okay then. Alright, GG! Well played, ODST. Well played. Sir. Alright.
I am not the best at SWAT. Wow, let, let me look at your... Hold on, let's see these medals. Let's see these medals. God, seven, seven double kills, this guy. This guy. All right, we'll do one more. We shall do one more. And then, Jay, we're going to show them the hitbox thing. And then I'm going to go into theater to show that I punched first. Oh, uh, are we... Are we going to fucking do that pistol fight, Joseph? Because you're starting to talk smack. You know what may be? You know what may be? Starting to smack on fucking pistols. That's, uh... I don't know. From from where I'm from, that's, uh... That's an act of war. People are already hating on the game? Well, I mean, you can have expectations, but, like, don't be like, Oh, fuck, it sucks! Like, you haven't played it. Alright then. Oh, ball. Right. You haven't played it yet. You can have expectations, but, like, temper them. You haven't played it. <laughs> yeah, man, don't... Don't judge a match three until you play it. Yeah, exactly. It could be the best match three you've ever... Why do we start with sticky grenades? That's interesting. I don't know, but I'm not against it. Also, hey, look, it's, uh... It's midship. We. Oh. That was a lot of explosions. Stick. That was the worst stick ever of all time. This is a tiny map compared to the other one. Yep. You can't have that, that's mine. Aw. Where's gun game? I would love Halo oh, gun game. Oh, that'd be game. so cool! Ow. I'm not doing well this game. Ball taken. Ball. Oh, hello. Did I throw two? Excuse me? Did I just throw two grenades there? Did anyone see that? Oh! Oh, good stick. Oh! Yoink! Stop sticking me! <laughs> you meanie! You sticky little boy. Oh my god. Ball so take. mean! Stop bully! Ball take. You don't stick me, I stick you! I swear to god. I swear to god. Okay. <laughs> Freaking goosty. No! <laughs> what? Why is everyone sticking me? Cause sticky bomb fun. It's stick. No! You can't keep sticking me. It's not fair. <laughs> sticky bomb go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the ball is mine. Ball is life. Oh no! He's got a shotgun. Oh no. The one time I have ball. Bad guy have better gun than ball. No, oh, Jay, you son of a bitch. Oh, you punchy scully bastard. This ball is mine. Ball is mine. Stay away. Stay away. I... No! I hit you. Oh, what a bully! You deliberately didn't shoot me so you could stick me. I hate you. Oh. Uh, and I died. Chat is bully. Ball. Chat is big bully. Stay away. Stay yeah, away. Stay away. 
Joe, come on, don't you want to talk to your good friend, your buddy, your pal? Your good buddy, oh. Jetman J? <laughs> oh my god, I know you guys are just deliberately throwing grenades at me now. I mean, yeah, it's fun. Like, hey, it's Joe, get him! <laughs> Stick him! Don't even shoot him. I'm just sort of sticking everyone. Uh, at this point, everyone's a good a, a good canvas for a sticky grenade. All right, well. God, not in the middle, please. Ooh, hello. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's up? Well, I got assassinated. Stop grenading the ball! Ooh, oh, yeah. Don't stick me! Oh! Well, at least I got that challenge. Yeah. Everyone just throws grenades at the ball. Yeah. If nobody can, if if I can't have the ball, nobody can. All right. Taken. Ball drop. Ball taken. Mine. Don't hey Joe, how do, how do you, you like dare! Grenades? Punch. Oh. Ball taken. Can't believe I haven't gotten a single stick this whole game. Stick. No. Stick. How did I? Not get him. Punch. Punch you, Jay. Fuck you. <laughs> you dare stick the stick master, who has gotten not a single stick this whole game. Ten points Ooh. remaining. Real stick master. Hello, Jay. Hey, how's it going? Nice stab stick. Thank you. No, I had the sword! Oh, this pro this ball take priority over sword? Yeah. Oh man. Oh no, I just, just gave him a free bubble shield. Oh, you... Banned. All of you are banned. I'm banning all of banned, you. I'm finding you in the chat. None of you are without sin! Anyone, anyone who sticks me next is banned. Oh, I'm banning Joe? people Hold who on. stick me. Where? Now, now I just gotta hunt down you. <laughs> You're all banned. I'm getting rid of yourself. I'm calling John Twitch. My dad works at Twitch. Oh, that was My fun. dad is I Jeff say. Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys better let me win or I'll banning you. All right. Uh, My dad is Master Chief, and he works at Halo, and I will have him ban you. All right, watch this. I'm going to show you guys that I punched first. I'm going to show oh. you launch. Everyone get out of here. Get out. I'm kicking you out of my party. Also because I'm calling the stream after this. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show oh. you I punched oh, first. Oh, so you're going you're, you're gonna to be a coward and back out of the pistol fight, eh? Another another time, Jay. Another yeah, time. Yeah, Thank I you know. so much, everyone, I'm for giving, playing. I'm giving you shit. It was loads of fun. Yeah, but I'm I'm kicking you, Jay. Oh, you already left. Yeah, oh, I already, I already I already bailed. Thank you for playing, guys. That was loads of fun. I am going to watch this uh, clip. I'll just watch it on your stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a lot of egg on my face if it's not true, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. So much egg. Very much egg. Okay, let's see. All right. So blah 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 blah. All this, all this stuff. Just speed up, speed up, speed up. Blah blah blah. Get that. I think I pulled this up. Okay, there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm gonna plug in the controller so I can go slow mo because you can use the triggers because the triggers are analog, right? You can hold them down kind of slightly instead of all the way. All right. Okay. Detective Joe time. <laughs> Okay, so I, I come over here, I do this boss-ass play by throwing down the shield. And I'm like, oh, what's up? What's up, dude? And I kill that guy. And then, where's the elite? Okay, so this elite, whoever whoever you are, very handsome, very nice color scheme. Watch this, alright? I like, eh, I come in. And then I... I... Punch! I punched him first! I See that? You, you, oh, you saw that, me. right? You saw, you saw that lunge. You saw that lunge. You saw that lunge. I mean, 
that isn't me, so... I... I did this, I went in, I was like... Zoom! Zoom! I punched in first! It's netcode. The, the reason is netcode. But I'm still salty! I punched first, and then he punches me after! 343, fix your game! <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Let's that see. That was, um... Gusti! You bastard! Yeah. You stuck me so many times! Banned! My punch was too fast for you to see. I'm sure I'm sure on your end you punched first. He has a stand. But I'm biased and and I saw me punch first. Therefore you ban. Ban Gusti. Everyone, bring your swords and shields. We're fighting Gusti. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for, for joining in. I'm gonna roll some credits while I yeah, read yeah. off the donos. Uh, Thanks for joining me, Jay. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. I'll uh, see you around. Yeah, see you, man. See you. Right. Roll some credits. Thank you to the donos and stuff and subs that I didn't read. Uh, Selenium, uh, Shaitan, That's the Gamer, Pass the Salt, Buttons 210, Milo the Kitty, Silver Phantoms 925, Shenpai, hey, 10 months, 13 months, wow. What even is today? I am dumb. Novi 16, Kam, uh, Kumo Sakan, Sakana, Beer Shadow, Zero Void Josh, Hazama D20, Hazama D20, The Mad Doctor 49, M Longyu, Mad Lad XX, uh, Carrion, Hairu, Phoenix Dragoon, Jenner Blackmane, Sponsor Man and Halo Mixter. Thank you so much. All the donations and all the subs and all the gift subs and all that stuff. Thank you so, so much. Uh, let's find someone to raid, shall we? Actually, if you're still interested in seeing some more Halo, when's the next stream? I do not know. Uh, if you're still interested in playing and watching some Halo... Uh, my good friend Boo Radley is playing some Halo. Boo Radley is an amazing artist and animator. He made the famous Wiggler head meme. You know, the one where he's nodding his head back and forth while the Wigglers are dancing around him? You know the one. If you know Monster Hunter, you know the one. He made that and it, as well as a bunch of other cool other ones. We're going to raid him. Boo Rad 13 Why? Uh, what shall our raid message be? What will the raid message be? Sprint bad. <laughs> Sprint bad! Wart wart more wart. We did wart wart last time. We did wart 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 last time. Ball is... The ball is mine. The ball I like... <laughs> Joe punched first. Yes, Joe punched. I did punch first. Joe punched first. The raid message will be Joe punched first because I did. I did. I did punch first, mom. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Show him some love. He's a fantastic artist and he's playing some Halo. Bye, guys. Bye. But yes, I have considered picking up a football, and I'm horrible with it, so... Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, I should have aimed up a little bit higher. Oh shit, hey Joe Cat, how's it going? <laughs> and there it is. What's up, man? Lots of Halo boys today. Joe punched first. Oh shit, he's a melee boy too. Sick. Melee boys for life. You punched first, but the game said no. Oh boy. Oh! Ah. I wonder what the story is there. Ah. Alright, I believe you. I believe that you punched first. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of melee. Oh, oh, oh god! Ah. These pesky blues are blending in with the scenery.
played Swamp Punch the guy, but that, he, oh yeah, that's happened to me like twice so far. You gotta love it when there's like mutually assured melee destruction. Revenge. Also, speaking of Swat, I'm doing pretty bad at it. I hope my fucking six strats are like aren't too bad in compare. Too bad in compare.